Welcome back to another episode of So Primos. My name is Melvin Diaz. I'm Joe Romero. Oh, dude, we have a special episode this week. Yes, we do, man. Why? Why? Because we're very grateful for our people, for our primos, for coming by every single week and hanging out with us. Yeah. So um, a couple of days ago, we posted on our Instagram. We were like, hey, we want to do a special Q&A episode because we love you guys so much. And we just want to talk to you guys. And and you guys the- yeah, you guys always ask us questions. Yes, yeah, so and this is the best way we can talk to you guys without physically talking to you guys, right? In the future, we might have streams or Twitch, bing, bam, boom. But right now, this is how we feel what you're feeling. This is how we know how you're feeling. This is how we talk to you guys, okay? So we're going to do, we're going to answer your mother effing questions, yeah, baby. Yeah, we, we got a lot. We got like almost 100 questions that we got to get through. Yeah, we got a lot of good ones too. And we promised on Instagram, because we, we announced, it's like, hey, ask us anything. And we said, we will answer every single one. Yes. And uh, you guys did not disappoint. And uh, yeah, we just want you want you guys to get to know us a little bit better. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people don't really know us, even yeah. though we're very vulnerable. I'll say this. They know the idea of who they wish we would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you say that again? <laughs> they love the idea of the version of us that they've created in their mind. Okay, that wasn't what you just said. <laughs> I, 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 I leveled it up. Because okay, people know us, Yeah, but do they really know us? Yeah. And sometimes, when, when I think about it, are we hard to get to know? Okay. Is it hard to get to know you, you think? It is very difficult to get to know me. And I think I think it's very difficult to get to know you, too. Yeah, because I, I had to work with you for like a whole year to get to I know think, you. I think because we were friends, we were like maybe acquaintances slash like low-tier friends. Yeah. For like two years. Yeah, because you would always hit me up like, hey, come to my birthday party. I'd be like, I'm not going to that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, I'd be like, yo, <laughs> come, come, yeah, hey, come to this. And you just see it and you'd be like, what the <laughs> no, dude. No, but but guess what, dude? After uh, two years of working together, I can finally consider you a friend. Wow, hey. it's been three years. It's but. been three years. Yeah. The, no, the first two years was you were my acquaintance. Okay, yeah. and then I remember I mean, this is you know, this, you know, what, this is a history channel. <laughs> <laughs> history channel. Yeah, yeah. I remember one time I was drunk as fuck after an Eastman show, and I was like, I feel like you don't know me. And then I walked away, and you're like, "What? You really feel that way?" And then we had a bonding session. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. You got drunk. And you're like, you don't know me, and I was like. What? She don't want to know me. And you're me. like, yeah, I feel like we don't know each other. And I was like, do you really feel that way? And you're like, yeah. And I was like, okay, let's change that, I guess. Like, <laughs> thanks for communicating that to me. So we, and we got closer after that. Yeah, it's good. It's all about as a man, it's hard to communicate with other men. Yeah, but I feel like we're easy to communicate with, though. After that, yes. But, like, as people, we're easy oh, yes. to, yes. We're e- as men, we're easy to communicate with. But it's pretty difficult to get to know us in real life. Yes. I, I feel. I fear. Yes. <laughs> yes, because, you know, sometimes we save ourselves for the ones that we love the most. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like like the wife, the stepkid, the, the stepdaughter, family. the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, listen, we love you guys, and you love us, yes. and we love each other. We're, and, pre- uh, we're family, baby. We're, we're, we're primos. Yeah. We're cousins, baby. Yes. We're cousins. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get into it. I'm gonna start, oh, okay. Should we the, say the, the, the Instagram names? Of yes, West? yes. Okay. I'm going to start off. This uh, this pissed me off. This question pissed me <laughs> off. Okay, this is uh, Jessica underscore Sanchez D. Yes. She said, question, what's next for the Soul Primos podcast? Also, Melvin, you look like someone whose microwave is dirty. <laughs> First of all, fuck you. <laughs> I keep that shit clean, bro. Okay, okay. I prioritize my clean microwave. Well, you, I, I hate a, a dirty microwave. Oh, yeah, it's fucking disgusting. It's disrespectful to the people that you live with, yeah, yeah, yeah. the people that bought the microwave. Yeah. Um, I tend to clean it up after a while. I tend to clean up my microwave. Um, you do kind of look dirty, though. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm just saying, when I said earlier before we started recording, I was like, you kind of look Russian. A little because you got the thick beard yeah. and the mustache is a little see-through. Okay. And it's like, you look like Khabib Nurmagomedov, if okay, anyone knows yeah, yeah. who that is. Undefeated. You know, champion. Undefeated, no, champion. And then Mama's Boy, I guess, whatever, yeah, yeah, which is a negative super thing. Super religious. I uh, hurt a lot of people. Let's talk no. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's talk no. Hey, you know, you know your history, baby. But listen, I'll tell you what you don't have. Uh, you probably don't have. Do you have an air fryer? Yeah, I do, yeah. I bet you keep that shit clean, too. Oh, I keep everything. I keep yeah. my kitchen clean. Yeah. Yeah. I prioritize it, keeping my kitchen clean. And especially an air fryer. I feel like I feel like the microwave, whatever, you can go a day or two. But I think the air fryer is more disgusting if you choose to not clean it up. Yeah. Because someone's going to use it that day. And then let's say they want to cook chicken while you cook steak. You know, from my Chipotle days, that's cross-contamination, salmonella, gingivitis, all that bad shit. Damn, bro. You probably, every time, like, every couple, like, six months, Chipotle would come out and be like, Oh, you know, it causes it causes thousands of cases of salmonella and yeah. diarrhea. Yeah. That was when you were working there. <laughs> 
at the West Coast. We don't want yeah, yeah. this specifically. It's the yeah. outbreak. Yep. And I always got mad when people would be like, oh, I'm not eating your lettuce. You got E. coli. I'm like, bitch, the whole country's got E. coli, dog. Because at one point- You're like, I have E. coli right now. Right now. There was a point, there was a, uh, a part in the in the nation's history where all the lettuce had E. coli, right? And then some lady came into my Chipotle and was like, y'all always have trouble with your fucking lettuce. I'm like, it's not it's not us. It's not us this time. Yeah. It's the whole country. And like, but why are you even coming in knowing yeah. that you guys have bad lettuce? And also- Go to Panda Express. There's just like 35 more options, dude. Not yeah. just this little lettuce. Yeah, yeah. There's also rice. There's also beans. Just don't get the fucking lettuce, dude. Yeah, yeah. Is it that important to you? You know what I mean? Hey, I didn't mean to say fuck you, Jessica. No, uh, just yeah. Sanchez D. That's <laughs> funny. It made me laugh really hard. And I said it to Joel. And Joel, he was like, he just thumbs up the text. Oh, what do I look like? Do I look like a guy who has a dirty anything? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Dirty mind. Dirty mind. Dude, <laughs> shut the fuck, dude. Like, hey. yeah, dirty, dirty bedroom. Uh, dirty bathroom. Dirty front lawn. Dirty car, dirty inside the car, dirty outside the car. No, dirty. He's, you're writing dirty. <laughs> you're writing dirty. Dude, cash. You're writing. I think I. I uh, what else am I dirty? Like, oh, your your my steez? Your groin. My, my groin. Your pride parts are dirty. <laughs> My Your ass is dirty. <laughs> dude, I was like, you're stealing all my jokes, man. All my go tos, man. What, ass, what's, dirty. What's, dirty. what's dirty about you? My ass. My, my mind and my ass. <laughs> my mind and my ass. They go hand in hand. That's stupid. Uh, yeah. I'm not a dirty individual. Look at me. This I look like a guy who's clean. Who, I clean up very. I clean up nice, dude. My kitchen is nice. Well, I don't have a kitchen in here. I will say the first time I ever got in your car, it was really dirty, <laughs> and you're really embarrassed. Yeah, but. All the other times I got in your car, it's always been clean. Yeah. I feel like that really traumatized you when I, because I got in there, I was just like, oh, it's you like, sorry, sorry. You like putting like cans in the back and like it's throwing them. Is it my gun? Put yeah, it in the yeah, back? Yeah. Like, sorry, sorry. It's, it's embarrassing. And yeah. um, I'll tell you what the danger is about having a, 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 a when you're in a committed, committed relationship, is that sometimes you don't really care about you get that used shit. To it. Yeah, yeah, you don't get like, she'll, like your girl will come in and be like, oh, it's dirty again. And you're just like, baby, you love me, right? She's like, whatever you want to do, I love you. And you're like, I'll go fuck that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll yeah. go fuck that. Yeah, so yeah, sometimes yeah. you got to remind yourself, like, hey, it's, you got to be clean. Even with if, if, because, even if, because you feel like when you, when you, you just got to try. You can't be, you can't be settling to be a dirty motherfucker. You know what I mean? Especially as you get older. You know, you don't want to be that guy in the group of your homies that's a dirty slob. You know, your homies come over, there's, like, clothes on the floor. There's fucking plates, like, all used plates everywhere. There's beer bottles. You got to be clean. You got to be an adult, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I prioritize my hygiene, dude. I always take showers. I always iron my clothes. I always clean. I wash... I wash my clothes, like, on a weekly basis, dude. Yeah. I, you know, I always smell good because I dislike being around people who smell... Who, whose breath smells th like all this stuff? I just don't like it. I just I, I'm a really clean guy. Dude. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why this comment pissed me so. It pissed me off. Hey. Well, you probably always, you don't have bo too. It's what I've noticed. Yeah, bo body odor. Your body odor. I know some guys I've had body odor and it's very very alarming. And then you think like, do you wear deodorants? Or, and they do. Yeah. They just smell like ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's and piss. And piss and shit. Shit. And you look if you look at them, they have shit. Yeah, they got shit in their ass. <laughs> right. But the beginning of your question yes. was, what's next for So Primo's podcast? Oh, Melvin took it away. I think a lot, man. I think we have a lot of plans for. Uh, I'm going to turn the AC down. Okay. That's okay. We have a lot of plans for, uh, obviously, to keep the podcast going. We're, we're kind of in the creative mode right now. Like, as you guys can tell, like, the uh, the intros and the outros of each episode, they're, like, super creative. And we're just having a blast making them. And eventually, we want to have live shows. Yes. We want to we want to do short films. We want to fucking, we want to have kind of silas with the primos. Oh, so dude. Primos. Um, you know, I feel like there's a question like that later on. I think so. Maybe so. I'll just wait for yeah, that. We'll wait. Yeah, we'll just wait for that. But yeah, what, pretty much what, what he said is next. You know, we don't want to be limited by the fact that we're a podcast. Because I feel like, uh, you know, we, we are still a podcast. But, you know, you got to try different things. Because people talking in the room, everybody's doing it. And yeah. uh, at least we're trying to, we just want to spice it. We're, yeah. We just want to spice it up. Just have fun. You know what I mean? I don't, we don't even, we're not even trying to be different. We're just trying to fucking have fun. What do you want to try? Let's fucking do it. Our main things are vlog pods. We want to do more oh, vlog yes. pods, which yes. is like a, a hybrid of a vlog and a podcast. Kind of like what, check out the Salt and Sea episode. So, you know, something similar to that where we travel the country, we travel the city, we do fun things. And, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, we just we just expand our, our, our reach. Yeah, we would love to do more of that. Um, I love traveling, man. I travel right now a lot for, for work, but I want to travel for Soul Primos, uh, especially Texas, because I know we got a lot of people, hopefully still, East Mahal had a lot of Texas people. Uh, I don't know about Soul Primos. We got some homies out there in Texas. We would love to visit out, out there and get some food, or we just go on the road trip and document the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make podcasts along the way and film like at a fucking beautiful location, beautiful beaches, beautiful places all over the fucking country. So... I think uh, there's a lot more. We're just this is like, like I've always said. This is just the beginning, and uh, this is just you know we're bare bones. Every week is a little hectic, but once we lock it in, everything we'll be able to expand and do crazy shit, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the AC back on. Yeah, for sure. It, for got, sure. it got very warm. Very <laughs> next quick. question. The next question. Noah, aka Mouthful of Bullets. Oh, okay. Asked, how are you guys so positive all the time? We're not. <laughs> We're fucking not, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. We, not in here, we right? laugh. Yeah. We laugh a lot, and we're we're always smiling a lot because we're laughing. Yeah, but <laughs> but for the most part, like it's a uh, maybe on camera it seems like that, but we're just like a uh, we just take it day by day. Yeah, we take it day by day, baby. I know sometimes it might seem like uh, uh, we're very positive and very happy all the time. But that's because we're having fun. This yeah. one hour, oh, this yeah, yeah. one hour, this one hour of the day, this one hour or two hours of the day. You know, life is hard. Life is difficult. We stress out. We're fucking. We're always trying to see how we're going to make money, how we're going to provide for the people we love, and fucking this, this, and that. There's a lot of stresses. Like everybody deals with it, but, yeah, yeah. but. I think like it's important for everybody to have a certain outlet, whether it be podcasting, shooting videos, photos, sports. hiking, sports, anything. I think. Uh, Knowing you have something to go to that will make you smile is always a, a very important thing for your mental health and just emotional well being. So, yeah, bro, we we fucking we go through it just like everybody else, bro. Like we fucking, yeah, dude, we fucking yeah. laugh, we cry, we get angry, we yell, we all, yeah. all this shit, dog. One thing that we would never want to do is bring any stresses or negative shit that we have in our real life, for the most part, onto this. We would want, we'd rather provide something. Happy, uh, good energy, laughter. I don't want to be like, you know, my mom got mad at me or fucking my girls. Are mad. I would never want to see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I want to just bring happiness. You know what I mean? We just want to bring positivity. When you watch this, I don't want you to be like, oh, dude, he's going through some shit. I want it to be about us. I want you, I want you guys to laugh. We want you guys to yeah, laugh. We want you guys to laugh. And it makes us laugh. We know that it's going to make you guys laugh. So, uh, yeah, we're not always positive, dog. We fucking go through it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably more than most, than a regular person. Yeah. We go through it a lot, but. I will say that uh, I am a lot, in general, more positive and more optimistic about my future than I used to be. Oh yeah, yes. me too. Yeah, me too. Just in general, as a, as a, as a, just as a human, but that takes a lot of work. That takes like finding a purpose in life, finding something you're passionate about, something you want to do. Once you find something, that always kind of makes you feel more positive because you know yeah. you feel like your life has meaning to it. You know what I mean? I think that's what we all kind of want, especially as a man. To yeah. have a purpose, yeah. you know. And it's, it's kind of like when you see your friends, uh, you know, I'm speaking directly to Noah, a.k.a. Mouthful of Bullets. Yes. When you see your friends, you get happy, right? It's yeah. just like, yo, what's up, guys? Hey, how are you guys? That's how we feel talking to you guys. Like, we feel like you guys are our actual cousins, our primos, you know what I mean? So it's just like, of course, we're going to be happy to talk to you guys. We're going to be happy when we go on live and you guys come in the chat. We're going to be happy when you guys leave comments. We're going to be happy when you guys DM us. Like, it's just like, oh, shit, it's, it's, it's the homie hitting us up, you know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe maybe that's why it seems like we're always positive, but we're always positive when you guys uh, when you guys are around, dude. That's straight up, straight yeah. up. Yeah, man, you guys make us very happy. Let's be real. Yeah. Look, all right, next question. Okay. Uh, Serge Inquisitor said, asked, uh, "Gay daughter or thought son?" Well, I, I want both, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want a gay thoughty ass son. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, dude, I want a, I want a fucking gay daughter and a thought son, bro. Yeah, dude, if a gay if a, a thought son came home and was like, "Yo, I fucked like forty dudes last night," I'd be like, "Dude, I love you." I love you, baby. Hey, uh, up those numbers, dog. Up the, yeah, get them up, baby. Yeah. Hey, we gotta get them up by the summer, baby. Hey, but you catching up? You catching <laughs> up? Okay, you catching up, homie. Hey, you just like me, you know? just like me, homie. Ah. Oh. And then like a gay daughter is just like, man, isn't she so cute? Yes. And she's like, yeah, you know. What? Dude, I'll be like, yeah, dude, she's cute. And she, and then my daughter would be like, I'm just, I'm shy, baby. You're beautiful. Yeah. You're perfect. Go get that pussy, Go baby. Get that pussy. <laughs> Eat that pussy up, dude. Yo, 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 shit on my face. I that. Yeah, yeah, baby <laughs> cute, baby cute. Now, if I had a thought daughter, I would shoot. <laughs> it's different. I would shoot myself in a fucking head, man. If I would shoot myself in a fucking head, dude. Why? I would kill myself off a bridge. Why? Huh? Why? Dude, 
if my daughter was like, yo, I just fucked 40 dudes last night, I'd be like this. Oh. Why? <laughs> I just go I'll be I gotta go I gotta go for a drive. She said, like, okay. And then fucking somebody said <laughs> Go off a clip, boom, Look explode. At the stars. <laughs> The, the car's not even moving. <laughs> you, I think that would make me sad. Really? Why? Because that's that's a terrible thought. That's a, that's a that's a heartbreaking. Uh, maybe how how if they're just having fun? No, that's, that's enjoying their youth. But I think it's different as as you're a father. I mean, look, this might me look make me look bad. But I feel like if, if if a guy is doing it, then it's like okay. But if a girl is like out there like having four dudes, fifty dudes on her. I might break my heart a little bit because she's she's just so precious. You know okay, what I mean? She's just right. so precious. Yeah, I get it. So you little girls, your daughters. Yeah, and, and the forty dudes running running a train on her, <laughs> running an Amtrak, just for an Amtrak, <laughs> the gold line <laughs> on her, or the metro, just <laughs> and then she's like describing to me because obviously she feel, I'm her safe space. Yeah, and she's yeah, like, yeah. Dude, four of those guys, they had a biggest dick. I I'd just be like, you feel like big, bigger than mine? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bigger than mine. <laughs> Dude, I, I think I don't know. I don't know. I look. Obviously, I say this now, not having a daughter. That I feel like I'd be pretty chill about it. Yeah. But you never know. Maybe that moment is just like what? Yes, I feel. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Or maybe I'm full of shit. <laughs> maybe I have double standards. You know what I mean? But I feel like. Um, I feel like with the original question, a gay daughter yeah, a gay or daughter, a thought son? Or no, thought daughter or a gay son? No, I thought it was thought son or a gay daughter. No, no, no. I'm no, my no, brain the, switched. <laughs> <laughs> you heard your dyslexic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, the original, it's a, it's a very popular question amongst all the internets. Yeah. It's uh, it's thought daughter or gay son, what would you rather have? Oh, okay. And my answer was both, fool. I, oh, I, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. thought daughter, gay son. Uh, thought daughter, still. So. Just because uh, I want to have girls. I want to be a girl dad. Oh, okay. I want to be sure, a girl sure. dad. Well, I mean, technically, if you have a gay son, it's kind of like... That's true. I think, I think it would... Yeah, it would And also, maybe, maybe a gay son, because then you'd be safe around the world. Yeah. It's a safe world for women out there. I mean, it's a dangerous world for women out there. It's a dangerous world for gay men as well. For gay men as well. Or but gay people. But, LGBT community no, yes, in general. Yes, yeah. yes. But I feel like uh, women are a little bit more vulnerable still. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, because a, a gay guy can still fuck still you up. Guy. You can fuck. Yeah, people, think, fight. people think gay guys are like weaker or some shit. They no, still fuck you up. No, no. They are very tough. Yes, no, yes, yes. Fuck. They might like slap instead They've of They've been punch. fighting all their life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Card is a man. Actually, maybe I'll, I have a gay, I have a gay son because I want a warrior. I want a, like a fighter, dude. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. He's like, I've been fighting for my rice, dude. I want, I want both, man. I want yeah. four kids: one gay daughter, one thought daughter, one thought son, and one gay son. <laughs> no, dude, I want one. I want four kids: three of them disabled. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Dude. Oh. oh, and then the disabled ones are thoughts. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I have that wheelchair sex. I want one of them with like one limb only, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's fucked up. Actually, no, 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 about no, it. that's yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah, come on. Yeah, Listen, yeah. We, either way, I, I, daughter, male, female, boy, gay, straight, disabled, fucking different ethnicity. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Rich Rekka. The oh, homie Rick. How did you guys meet? Oh, <laughs> what is this history channel? What is this channel? Come on, man. Stranger DVD. All right. Okay, how do we meet? We met through mutual friends. Yes, we met through mutual friends. Uh, we met. But how, the how day, the, that, the, the, the moment we actually saw each other in, in real life for the first time was at my first studio. Oh, yeah. And you stopped by like 9 p.m. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, you hit me up, and then I think because you wanted to shoot the M word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, "Oh, let me let's go. Let me go pull up and look at the space." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we pulled up, and then the first thing I said was uh, something everybody tells you. Yeah. You're oh, like, "Well, you're taller you're than, than I talk, than I thought." <laughs> yeah, and then you're like, "Oh, I know, right?" And then some bull douchebag shit. And then <laughs> oh, you were no. you're wearing a jersey and shit. You're wearing chains and a grill. And you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a suck. I was Joel's your name. Uh, I was wearing a, a, a jersey with a chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the, and the bandana. Too. You always had a fucking you. That was your outfit for so fucking long. For dude. a year, yeah. I'm glad you're into flannels and other shit, dude. But I'm just saying. So that's how I met him. But I knew of him because you know Gerardo and Josh had this podcast called Josh Rardo. Yes, yes. And then they would always tell me like, "Hey, Joe, your episodes are doing good, good numbers." And I was like, "Fucking dope, right?" Because I wasn't a podcaster. And then they were like, "Oh wait, the most viewed one." Uh, of our the most viewed episode of our podcast is, is with this guy named Malvin Diaz. And I was like, who the fuck is Malvin Diaz? And I see him. First thing I notice is his lips, and I was like, dick suck lips. Okay. okay. And then I noticed that he has a he had a charisma, he had an attitude, he had a chip on his shoulder, something that I resonate with 
to this day, right? So I liked you from the beginning, but I just didn't know you. You know yeah. what I mean? Sometimes people fear the unknown. I kind of feared you a little bit, you know, because you're very tall, very handsome. And then once I met you, I was like, wow, this is like, oh, he's way sweeter than I thought he was going to be. Yeah. He's way nicer than I thought he was going to be, you know? And then when you gave me a tour of your studio, and then we were just kicking and chilling. We were like plotting, like, oh, we want to shoot like this, yada, yada, yada. And then from there, you know, we just, we worked together for a year or two, and then, um, uh, and we we, be, we became. It was funny because for a, for a while, every time me and my mom were by ourselves, like we would talk, but it wasn't like I don't think we it was could. Very cordial. It wasn't really joke around or anything, you know. It wasn't like uh, like we had so many times. We would be, I'd just be at the studio and he'd be like, "Yo, bro," huh? and I'd be like, "Yeah." And just be quiet for a little bit. Yeah. And then I ask a question like, "Hey, who built this?" And you'd be like, "You? Oh, I did." And I'm like, "Oh, stoop." And I'm like, "I did." <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're working, we're just <laughs> yeah. It was a uh, so what was that? Twenty twenty one. That was twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one, man. Yeah, wow. And look at look at us now. It's three years later, man. Who would have thought? No one. Thought? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody would have thought that we would stick together. Yeah, but yeah. it was cool. Yeah, it was. It was good I took you up to the rooftop when we saw all of the downtown LA skyline, and I was like, "This could all be yours." Yeah, and then you asked me to. I just wanted to go upstairs, and then you were like, "Okay, bring your camera upstairs." And then we filmed some shit up there. No, we filmed yeah. something. Uh, we filmed something the second time. Oh, the second time. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's my brain change. just changing the history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're manipulating the narrative. Okay, what did you feel when you first met me? I thought you were cool. I thought you were cool. I thought you were very unique looking. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like you look like a, like a, you had long hair back then. Yeah, I had the ponytail. Whatever. Yeah, you had the ponytail. Yeah, and I was just like, I remember just like being, just admiring your work f- so much, and I remember being like. A, Everything you would post, I'd be like, bro, we're going to work together. Mark my fucking words. And you would leave me on red. And and, <laughs> and then uh, you posted something. Uh, you filmed something in downtown LA. Yeah. I was like, dog, you're right by my studio. And he was like, yo, when, we, when can I? I'll be down to stop by. I was like, dude, tonight. And you're like, bet. And you pulled up. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, you were like, dude, you're taller than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's just, you know, I, I'm surprised people don't realize that because I get such a big head. I, pe- yeah. I, pe- I feel like people should assume I'm tall. I, I feel like my voice was definitely higher pitched back then, three years ago. Yo, you're taller. You're taller than I thought, man. But yeah. nowadays, you know, our friendship goes back three years and I feel like it was, it's been a good run, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's been cool. Yeah. Hopefully it's been cool. Hope it doesn't end like in a month of the year. Okay. All right, uh, what's one piece? Okay, so Drizzy Drade. Oh, Drizzy Drade. Asks, uh, what is one piece of advice you'd give your 14-year-old self? Uh-huh. What was I doing? 14, let me think. Ninth grade, right? Ninth grade. Ooh, ninth grade. Yeah, ninth grade. Dude, a piece of advice? Let me see. I think what I, I would give my advice to ninth grade Melvin is try a little harder in high school. Yeah. And uh, don't get a girlfriend in ninth grade. <laughs> Cause I got a little girlfriend in ninth grade, and uh, it like made me sad. Why? Oh, the breakup. Yeah, dude, those breakups in high school are fucking dramatic. You have to shit. see them. You have yeah, to see them every day. And then when they get with somebody else, you're just like, what? Yeah, well, my girlfriend that I had in high school, we broke up, and then she sat behind me in class, in history class. And I'll I'll just be like talking shit, but like, yeah, you know, you know, Marissa, she's like a bitch, and then she'd be right behind me, and she's like, I can hear, I can hear you. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I am. Uh-huh. I'm like, now you're listening to me, right? Now, you're, <laughs> now I'm heard. Now you're paying attention to me. <laughs> you're paying attention <laughs> to me. Um, but what I would tell my younger self is like, uh, same thing I tell everybody, man. Nah, just like love yourself. It's okay. Just be, don't don't be so hard on yourself, buddy. I was a lost puppy back in the day. I had nothing going for, uh, nothing going for you. I was in ninth grade. <laughs> 14 years old. I, got shit. I didn't get a job. I had, you know, I just didn't believe in myself. I hated myself. I didn't lock myself. Um, just be like, and maybe try a little bit harder in, not in school, but like in the things you enjoy, lean into them a little bit. Cause I, I kind of started liking, uh, like, I was looking at like Freddie Wong on YouTube and like a quarter digital and all those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, wow, we could have do something with cameras. And I just never, I just never, Never, uh, you know, spoke up about it. Like to my parents, like, can you buy me a camera or anything? Yeah. Because I would always be like, that's not me. That's, that's yeah. never going to be me. I think, like, uh, the problem with high school is that, you know, it's just a bunch of kids that are still learning about themselves yeah. and yet they're trying to fit in. Yeah. And those are two things that just, they, they buck each other. They, they just, it won't work. Yeah. So, you know, when those two things clash, 
you do things that you normally wouldn't have done. Yeah. You know, you hang out with people that no- you normally shouldn't hang out with, and you, you know, you do, you know, you do bad shit sometimes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, I think I, I, I wish uh, um, in ninth grade I would tell little fourteen year old Melvin like to be myself more. Yeah. Because I didn't start being myself until uh, the end of my sophomore year. Yeah. When I started finding my voice, you know what I mean? And I started just like being more confident with myself, and uh, obviously I got my license the summer after 10th grade. So like, I started exploring the city more. I started doing better things and I started, you know, and then I ended up fucking hanging out with the wrong crowd, like d- a dangerous crowd. But then, but I still, I was confident in myself and yeah. I found my voice. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, uh, I matured a lot. I just, in, within two years, I just like, I went from like this little 14 year old kid to, to a 16 year old that was just fucking just the, uh, just a trouble, man. You just like yeah. a, 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 yeah, dude. It was, it's crazy. But I, I'll tell them just to be more confident in yourself. Fourteen, yeah, in yeah. yeah. High school is rough. I remember I broke up with my girl, and then, uh, and then uh, she was the only person I hung out with in lunch and fucking recess. So when we broke up, I was like, oh, dude, where am I gonna go? And then I would just go to like the cafeteria, just sit by myself, or I went to the restroom for one recess. I just fucking took a long shit, dude. Just sat there. <laughs> we just sat there. I had no phone, no nothing. My sidekick with no internet. Sidekick, yeah. <laughs> just looking through your photos. Photos of me. <laughs> photos of me. And then, um, yeah, I think it's high school is hard for everybody, man. Oh, Lo- Los Hijinks cast also asked something similar. What is yeah. one thing you wish you could tell your younger self? Hmm. Just, just the same. Just be like, hey, man. Be kind to yourself, love yourself, believe in yourself a little bit more. I had no confidence when I was younger in anything. I skated, and I thought it was cool. I had, like, a little community because I skated. But, you know, uh, some communities, once you stop doing that thing, they don't see you as a friend anymore. Like, if you stop skating, they're like, oh, what the fuck? Then why are you hanging out with us? You don't skate. You're not a skater, right? So I think just, you know, be confident and love yourself. And and like you said, you're just, you're just trying to find somebody. You're looking outwards for validation for something when you should be looking in internally and be like, who am I? Asking those questions. But it, uh, you just got to love yourself and be kind to yourself. That's why, because my, I be, used to beat myself up a lot when I was younger. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, same, same. Just be, yeah, just just trust, trust that everything's going to be okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, just, uh, just be, yeah. I mean, and, I don't think, I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah. Growing up. And it, it yeah, because if, if, if you have a kid and then, Let's say you have a daughter or son, and he's fourteen, and he's telling you how he feels, like, "Oh, I fucking hate myself." You'd be like, "What? Yeah. I love you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta. But then, I don't know, cause life's a journey, baby. Life's a journey. I wish I could tell myself those things, but maybe if I, maybe me feeling that way led me to be the person I am today. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. So maybe if I love my, I don't know. I just, I, I'm fine with how everything, how I was back then, because it makes me more proud of who I am now. Boom. Boom. You're spinning. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was good. We'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. We'll okay. That out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Flying Moon 66 asks, if you guys make it to a year, would you do something special for it, like a live event? Oh, yeah. We would love, dude. I would love, in a perfect world, we wouldn't have to wait a year, but we just got to build the fan base yeah. up a little bit. We'd probably do a live event in like five or six months. Right? Yeah, we will. Yeah, because uh, Isimo... Had already had a fan base, yeah. so jumping into that, we had a fan base. So making doing a live show wasn't so like we were always like hope, we hope people come, and people always came, um, but that show was bigger than than what we have now. So yeah, way we, bigger. We just got to rebuild and then uh, get the word out and uh, find more dedicated. To, or we have so many people that are down to, to drive and this and that, but like and we had to find a studio spot, a space where we could yeah. fill up fifty people. <laughs> because uh, those shows were fun, man. Dude, so much. Those fun. shows were fun, man. And uh, we would love to ha- meet you guys in person. So, yeah. like, that's a priority of ours. Like, yeah, hanging out and then a space where we can hang out for a good time after the show ends, where you know we can just chill and drink, and uh, maybe not to spend so much money at a bar. We would love to just chill. Like the studio end was perfect. Yeah. We would do the show and then we'd hang out after the show, talk to everybody, and then. Uh, it was awesome, dude. It was yeah. fun. It was such a fun experience. So hopefully in a yeah. year and hopefully a little bit before A year that. for sure we'll definitely have events, but hopefully we'll, we'll, you know, the next, maybe in the summer we'll have a little event too that's going to be, you know, fun and everything. Yeah, but before that we might even do the, the kind of certifications. We want to do carne asados or like the barbecue stuff where we 
hang out, go to a park, like Griffith Park or a local park, and we just hang out with the people. Fucking uh, free, obviously. <laughs> we're just in, the, we're in nature. Yeah, 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 yeah. And <laughs> yeah. the world. And then we just hang out and then fucking drink and uh, eat food and get to know everybody. And then fucking it'll be a good time. So soon, yeah, soon. Very soon. All right, YNG underscore Da Vinci asks, when and how did you find your passion in life? Love you guys, bro. All the way from New Zealand. Ooh, Dude. he's a leg like crazy, man. Hey, love you too, brother. <laughs> I'm dark and we, twisted. Shane we, Gillis. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis. Oh. We love New Zealand, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, when and how did you find your passion? I think you had, you, you, you. When I was younger, but then uh, I bought my camera when I was uh, in 2015, 16. And then I was using it to film like my girlfriend at the time. Uh, and I remember what when type I, of films? Huh? What type of films? <laughs> just like, just like uh, we would go to the park, I would film her, we would hang out, we would drink, we would film us and shit. And then uh, I remember when I first bought the camera, it changed my life because I felt like I felt like I found something I was missing. I didn't even know what it was. I just felt like I, I was able to express myself in some way. And I edited some videos. I was like, wow, oh, okay, I like this. And finally, my first time for the first time in my life, I did something that made me feel good. And just made me feel like uh, I, I could do something. Because at that time, like, I, I went to college, and then I dropped out, pretty much. And then I was going to school just for the FAFSA. And then after that, when if you're not going to school, you got to be working. So I was just working at Chipotle. And I was kind of like, you know, what am I doing in my life? I'm just fucking working. I felt kind of like, kind of hopeless a little bit. But then once I bought the camera, I started fucking with it. I just realized that uh, it just made me feel something that I've never felt before. Like I could, like I, like it gave me purpose almost, you know? So it kind of saved me almost in a little bit. Because if, if it wasn't for that, I would, I would just be like, I don't know what I would do, honestly. I don't know what I would do, honestly. So that was like uh, 2016, 17. What was I? Fucking uh, like 19, 20? Pretty old. No, 19, 20, 21. I don't know. It was one of those. But, uh, but yeah. That's awesome. Dude, yeah, there's no other better feeling than the first time you edit something. Yeah. And you're like, whoa. Yeah. I just, did this. Just like, whoa. Yeah. You're just like, like oh, you know, shit. like the transitions. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I, whoa. Yeah. Like, this is what they do for movies. Like, yeah. That, that first initial feeling. And then it goes downhill from there because it's just like, you want to like be better and you're just like, I don't like this. Like, how, how can I do it like them? Yeah. But that first initial feel where you piece things together and, just like, yeah, and you press play and you're like, you got some music behind oh, it. You're just like, whoa. Fuck. That's a great feeling, dude. Yeah. But for me, it was probably when I was like 17. I had just graduated high school and I was going to go study structural engineering in college. And I wanted to be an architect and, uh, you know, or an engineer. I wanted to build bridges and, and buildings and stuff like that. And um, and then literally the summer before I, I, I left to college, I uh, shout out Daniel Cabral, uh, a great the comedian. Go the yeah. GOAT. Yeah. He, uh, he took me to my first open mic and uh, I, I was hooked ever since. And like... You know, I would just do comedy and stuff like that, and 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 then once I did a year in Sacramento State, and then I transferred to the Los Angeles Film School, and I started writing scripts, and I started like you know writing scripts for commercials and and pilots and stuff like that, and learning how to shoot and learning how to film and edit and all this stuff, and I was just like, bro, this is what I want to do until I fucking die. I want to do stand up comedy and I want to create stories, whether in movies or shows and stuff like that. And like, uh, I was just like, bro, this is all I want to do. This is all I want to do forever, forever, forever. And, um, and, uh, I was doing all that. And then the pandemic happened and then I started podcasting. So the podcast thing was kind of like, I was kind of forced to do it with circumstances. And then I started doing it. And I really enjoyed it. I started, uh, I started hopping on my friend's podcast. Like they would invite me on as like a guest and I just really liked it. I really liked it. And, uh, and like the, maybe like the third or fourth time that I was invited was for Josh Rardo with Gerardo and Josh. And I was just like, man, this is fucking cool, dude. This is really fun. It's like a mix of everything. Yeah. And, uh, and, and yeah, dude, it, it's, it's been, it's been a lot of fun, man. It's like, uh, sometimes it comes to you. Sometimes you have to search it out. bro. Yeah. That's what literally what I was about to say. Sometimes you'll just, uh, find you. Sometimes you gotta go out looking for it by trying different things. And, uh, but just the attempt, I don't know, you, you, maybe you don't have something in your life that you're passionate about or you haven't found your thing yet, but I would just say, just keep trying to find something. Keep trying, keep trying different things. Yeah. I, I, I'm with you. Like yeah. I, it's, it, I, I agree that it has saved my life as well. Like yeah. I would be, I don't know, man, I would be a very sad human being if I didn't have any of this. Yeah. I would be some tall, 
fucking wannabe funny guy working at Old Navy or some shit. Yeah, but you'd be the funniest fucking. Uh, I'd be the funniest regular the guy. The funniest janitor at fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The funniest bus boy. <laughs> I tried, I applied for Lucio's, I remember one time, and then me and the manager had the, had like a 20 minute conversation about bang energy drink and Celsius. Right. And then I, I remember leaving, I was like, and he's like, you know what Southern hospitality is? I was like, yeah, like you greet people, you're warm to them, you ask them about their day, life, like Southern hospitality, it's like from, from the South. And he's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, from the South, okay. And then we talked about bang and energy drinks, and I, I swore, like, I feel like I, I, knew, I thought I was gonna get that fucking job. And then uh, I didn't fucking get it, dude. Yeah. Job interviews were hard. Yeah, I mean, I, I I wouldn't be. I don't think I'd be a janitor or anything. I think I'd be working in an office. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd be the funniest <laughs> office worker. Yeah, and it, you know, I'd be one of those motherfuckers that people would be like, "Dude, you should do stand up. You're so funny." Yeah. And I'd be like, "No, yeah, no, stop. Yeah. yeah, stop, stop." But like, it, it would it would uh yeah, I would be working in some office dog wearing like fancy clothes. I'd probably be living in a big house, having a nice car. <laughs> Wife, kids, fucking yeah. a four hundred one k. Yeah, well, you could do what we do. I have none insurance. of that. Yeah, yeah. I would have insurance, dog. I would yeah. fucking. Oh my god, I wanted like a, a monthly checkup with a doctor. Yeah, and dude, and a and check and every two weeks, every month. Yeah, you'd have a new nose, a yeah, nose yeah, job, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'd have yeah. a fucking hair transplant. I would own property. <laughs> Dude, I would be raising my family, yeah. my third hair transplant. Fuck, I would have gone fucking, I would have gone the trainer, I would have gone shredded. Yeah. But we're doing the slow game, but it's been very rewarding. Yeah. Well, <sighs> not financially. That's a good question. That was a good question. Thank you so much. We love you from New Zealand, bro. YNG underscore Da Vinci. Uh, regular size rubies as truck driver demon story footage when I, I actually hit him up I actually hit him uh, up really what did he say he was just like dude invite me to your next show and I was like I haven't been I, haven't, I don't have any shows coming up but I'm like I don't want to just like hit him up and like meet him at like a Starbucks or some, <laughs> or some shit. You know what I mean? But you should just ask about the footage. Like we're doing a fucking analysis, or we're doing like a crime, or like a paranormal activity, paranormal fucking analysis and investigation. And you, yeah. my experience with you has been one of the craziest knowledge experiences. And we want to show people that it's real, that it's something's out there. Yeah. He'd be like, okay. Yeah, his nickname is Sapo. Two thousand dollars, frog. Sapo. So, how does he just, look? Just, <laughs> just to uh, paint a picture of who I'm dealing with. Well, hopefully we'll get that footage soon. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. we'll get that footage soon. Uh, some Lucid Life asks, do you guys have merch or plan to have some merch soon? Sunflower emoji, sad emoji, and heart finger emoji. Oh. This one. <laughs> Listen, for merch, we would love to have merch. Well, we have ideas brewing. Yes. But, you know, we love clothes. I love clothes. Bing, bam, boom. I love clothes. I love thrifting. Bing, bam, boom. But obviously, we do merch. It'll be high quality stuff. But, you know, we, we, we think of ideas. We're always like, this would be cool for merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that's later down the yeah, line. Yeah, we feel like we want to grow our audience more. We want to get bigger. Yeah. And I know it sounds... Uh, uh, shallow but we want more subscribers and more followers and more listeners that way you know it's like it's valid that we have merch you yeah. know what I'm saying we appreciate you asking about it and we this is like we I've been asked about it before too yeah but it's just like uh you know we're only 10 episodes in this is our 11th episode and we want to just like focus on the product like the our actual art yeah before we start like selling merch and stuff like that but it, it is in the back of our heads yeah it is I think that would look beautiful, man. We find some cool artwork. Maybe, maybe after th the thirtieth episode. Yeah, something, like, something. Like, that's the twenty fifth like, episode. What is that like in the middle of next year or something? Yeah, so like right before the summer. Oh, right, no, oh wait, 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 next year, this year, this year, yeah. sometime this year. Yeah, maybe we'll, fall. Yeah, fall. We'll start to try to introduce like a first wave of merch. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, I know a guy who does clothes yeah. with the homie. You know what I mean? and if we have live events, we'll also have merch there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah. It, it just know it's in the back of our heads, and it. Once we do release it, it's going to be fucking dope. Dude. Yeah, it's going to be wearing really that cool. shit all the time, baby. Yeah. It's cool. going to be dope as fuck. Uh, next question. Question. All right. Uh, Drew.379 says, how's life going for y'all? Seems like it's going better and more work is popping off. Yeah. People get quiet. <laughs> We're just like... <laughs> Life is fucking busy as shit, dude. Dude, yeah, we 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 we've been really busy, but life has been good. This been the good. beginning of 2024 up to right now, it's been cool, man. It's been chill, yeah. nice and fresh, nothing crazy. Uh, I mean, the bad thing is, well, I don't have a car right now. It's still yeah. in the shop, and uh, you're traveling like crazy. Yeah, I'm traveling like crazy, working other freelance stuff and this. 
I I have a woman now, you know, Blackie, love her, love her, I love uh, Trembling, you know, I love her too. Um, it's just a lot. So sometimes that's that's why also sometimes you know with all everything that we're just that we're kind of trying to work through or not even work through, but like everything that's on our plate right now. Uh, that's why we're saving like the merch yeah. later on because we don't want to half fast it and then yeah. try doing it now while we're all kind of like stretched out pretty thin. Yeah. So I think uh, you know eventually I won't be traveling as much, and then uh, hopefully by that time you know. We can build the fan base and maybe get a Patreon and then yeah. maybe put the money back into the show, which is what I would want for, like, if we ever do, like, uh, like Patreon and stuff and stuff like that. I'd, I'd want, you know, some of it at least for the for the fans to feel the money being put back into the show. Like, before that wasn't the case, where the money kind of didn't go back into the show. Yeah, yeah. So, that's what I, that's what I, I would want. Yeah. That's why even with Patreon, we're like, we're, 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 we don't want to, when we can do, like, a bunch of new, like, because Patreon is usually, like, an extra episode a week or two episodes or bonus content. Uh, right now, we just want to make sure the foundation is really good. Yeah. And then we'll build off of that. Exactly, exactly. The same guy, Drew.379, uh, asks, any kind of salas or live shows coming up? Ooh, we want to have yeah. Oh, go ahead. We want to have a carne asada at the beginning of the summer. Yeah, maybe maybe sometime in May would be cool. Yeah, that'll be really cool, really cool. And then uh, kind of like the last one, the Eastman one. That one was fucking fun and shit. Dude, dude. so much fun. So we much just fun. drank with people, hung out, ate, ate food. Ate good food. It was a nice, beautiful park. It was really cool, really fun. Yeah, all the guys were huddled up together, were kicking it, dude. The the the, the fucking girlfriends got to know yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. It was very beautiful, man. Very yeah. wholesome experience. Dude. Yeah. So so stay tuned for May. Yes. Mayish. June. Yeah, when it's sunny outside, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's hot. Maybe yeah. one day we could all go to the beach or hang out. We want to do more. Basically. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> what? Okay, so the same guy who's asked those two wholesome questions, his third question is, what type of bitches y'all like? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> with the eye emoji like this. What the fuck is wrong okay, with Okay, we're you? not going to answer that because yeah. we're Christian. Yes, yes. And well, we're also I'm, married. Yeah, but yeah, you, yeah, go yeah, yeah. you go first. You go first. But the ones I like, uh, <laughs> I, love, uh, I love the women that are very uh, sweet and gentle and loving and beautiful. I, I love uh, intelligent women. Yes. Yeah. I yes, think that uh, it's, that's always been a priority for me. Like, uh, I need a girl with like a college degree and uh, that can have interesting conversations and not be like a dunce. Yes. But when I was younger though, if a girl was like, where the fuck are you? I'd be like, that's yeah, my like, girl. you be like, oh, fuck, oh, it's so hot. Fuck, where the fuck am I actually? Yeah, where am I? I should be with you, huh? <laughs> Dude, I would love that when I was young. But then that's when you're 21. You got to go through that. Yeah, when I was younger, man, I, I was I was into all types, like yes. all all colors of the rainbow, all all versions of the spectrum. Yeah, when I was very young, I had a thing for white girls. I'll be the first okay. to say it. I think for white girls, was a long time ago, long time ago. But I think for white girls specifically, they just. I think every Latino go, every Latino man goes through that phase. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, and then they grow up. <laughs> That was what I did. I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> Which I grew up, yes. And now I'm fucking married, dude. We're all married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. What kind of bitches are you into, dog? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Leave Comment it. down below Comment what kind of bitches below. you yeah, into, dog. Of, can't believe it. What's he has two sweet questions. Uh, and he was like, what type of bitches? All right, he has a, he has a, first, a fourth question. Oh, okay. Uh, Drew.379, what was each other's first impressions? I think we asked that. Yes, we, we asked we that, that. I thought he was, oh, he's tall, he's big, asthma. You thought, you thought, you thought I was nicer? Yeah, you person. thought you were nicer in real life. You were big, you were, you know, having, you were walking, you had long legs and shit, weird body um, portions and shit. I thought you were funnier. <laughs> what? I thought you were funnier in real life. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, I remember thinking, like, dude, this guy's funny, man. Really? Why yeah. did you, you thought I was, uh, you thought I wasn't funny in, uh, when you watched me on the podcast? I didn't watch <laughs> <laughs> you only watch yours, huh? Yeah, you yeah, only yeah, watch just, your shit, dude. I study the grades. Yeah. Stop. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Another one. Uh, did you guys ever think y'all were going to be friends? I think we answered that as well. Yes. I think we, we thought we were going to be friends, but we were kind of like... <laughs> dude, I want to share something that I probably okay. shouldn't share. Probably share. <laughs> Look, we became really good friends at, like uh, very recently, like a year ago or whatever. Uh, like I think more than a year ago. More than a year ago. And it got to a point like where we became really good friends. There was this portion in our friendship, I would say like four months ago, where we would fucking, it was like a, in, a, in a three week uh, space where we, every time we drank, we just cried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. 
uh, we just cried to each other about shit in our lives <laughs> for like three weeks. Oh it was like three different times. Yes, we'll be like, yes. more yeah. than that. It must have been like maybe five or six times. <laughs> so we would take turns. You'd be like, <laughs> and then I'll be like, and then I'll be like, you'd be like, <laughs> and then like, <laughs> and then, I'll, and then afterwards, we're like, all right, cause all right, bro, see you, and then I'll see you tomorrow. Though. And then next week, you people look to my apartment, and you'd be like. <laughs> 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 Dude, you you have a lot of tears. <laughs> I, I'm going, like no emotion. You're just like, <laughs> 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 I'm like yes, I remember that. It's just, we were like drinking. It was like the first time we started drinking like heavily, and then like I don't know. I felt maybe we felt safe with each other. Yeah. And, like we were like uh, we can share these thoughts and emotions with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. And also we were heavily inebriated. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very funny because I've been like three times in a row and shit. Yeah. Where every time I, I would invite you and then we're like, we should think about a podcast name. Yeah, but yeah, back yeah, in my yeah. head, I was like, oh, I want to cry tonight, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fucking cry tonight. Also, like, our fucking dumbasses, we we would play like sad songs too. <laughs> we'd be like, oh, this song reminds me of uh, of when uh, you know when this person this and this this and that. And then you're just fucking. We're just Crying. Yeah, we're just like, man, that's raw fucking going through, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. But I, I think that says a lot about our relationship. Where it's just like, all right, our friendship, like fucking, like we were able to fucking express all spe- all sides of all emotions. Yeah, dude, with each other without f- being afraid of being judged and shit. Like, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah. a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, I think we have like an understanding with each other too, and we're very like similar. Like we. I think we cope similarly too. Yeah, pounding. Pounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking alcohol. See, if and you're crying. if you're a guy, ask yourself how many men around me can I possibly cry to? Yes. You know I mean? yes. That's that's a very important thing. Very important. Not to, if Melvin was crying all the time, I'd be like, dude, shut the fuck dude, up. You're busy. You're, you're, you're crying, baby. Yeah, up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not to be toxic, but it's like you gotta have you know, life is hard. You gotta fucking yeah. come on, man. It's but if, but obviously, if like you're going through some shit, and I'll listen to, we both cry together, dog. Every man yeah. needs a friend like that we all need uh have each other's back dog if your friends cry if your friends a friend's crying to you you're just like uh yeah and then you go tell your other friends like yeah dog he was crying like you're a bitch homie yeah you're a fucking bitch yeah bro yeah that's a really good point like you have to ask yourself what what man in my life or what man in my life can i like cry to if you're a man yeah and if the answer is none then it's just like bro you have to like reconsider your because like you can't not cry i remember uh I want to say maybe when I was like, I turned 18, all the way when I was 18 to like 23, I never cried. Yeah. But it was started affecting other parts of my life. It start, I started becoming a meaner person. I started becoming like a less optimistic. And then I remember I watched a movie and I, I was like, I wanted to cry in a particular scene. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to fucking cry in a movie theater. And I was like, no, just, just fucking let it flow, dog. Let it flow. And I fucking remember just crying this scene. And I just remember leaving the movie theater feeling so good. Just like, just all this pressure would just relieve. Like, just yeah. like, if I just put the switch, it's just like, yeah. And it's just like, wow, dude, that felt good. And like, after that, I just like, every time I felt the need to, you know, let it go, I would just, you know, whether it's a song or I'm driving on the freeway and a song hits me or, or, you know, I'm having an intense moment with someone that I love. It's just like, just let it go. And then it, it, I was always better for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, people think that, like, crying isn't, uh, it's like a sign of weakness, or you're not a man if you cry. But it's always, like, sometimes it's like the the weak, the older generation that thinks, oh, you're being emotional, and you're a bitch. And I'm like, dude. Oh, look, it's a part of life. It's, 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 uh, their emotions. Yeah. No, if you're happy and you, you're, you're smiling and laughing, no one bats an eye. Yeah. If you're angry and you're yelling and fuming, no one bats an eye. Yeah. Well, why, why do people criticize when you're fucking sad and you want to cry? Yeah. That's when everyone's like, hey, God, don't, boys don't cry. This don't, 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 it's just like, bro, you have to let it happen. Yeah. Or else it will fuck up your mental. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dog. I think some people think that men are, like, to be a real man, you got to be fucking this uh, uh, emotionally numb person that doesn't fucking get upset or doesn't get angry, doesn't cry, doesn't have feelings. I'm like, but it's like a dick who's like fucking, uh, like, this ass, like an Andrew Tate or fucking one of those alpha male dudes. And for me, I'm like, you're a fucking psycho, dude. To be a man means more than just not showing, not crying. Yeah, you're unhealthy. It's like... Fucking keeping your shit in. Yeah. You'll be constipated, bro. You're going to get sick. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's- if you don't let your emotions out, bro, you're going to get sick mentally. You're going to get mentally ill. Yeah, you're gonna, that, that shit's going to be huge. Yeah. Yeah. To be a man means to take care of the people around you, to show, to be kind, to be loving. Okay. 
For sure. Well, thank you. Thank you, Drew.379, for all those amazing questions. Yes, oh, thank you very your much. homie, uh, Christo. Oh, what do you say? If you could have any guests or guests to have on the podcast, dead or alive, who would it be? Ooh, shout out to Christo Mercado, talented DP, AC, uh, one of the best cooks I've ever met in my life, a great chef. He made me adobo last time I was there. And he's made me a bunch of other Filipino dishes. I don't know the name, but they were fucking amazing. So shout out nice. to Christo. Nice, yes. nice. But uh, guess, huh? You want to go first? Oh, man. I think I would go with Charlie Chaplin. Oh, Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I would love to have him on. I think he's, like, so interesting. He's the pioneer of modern-day Hollywood. Uh, and then also, I think I would want to have... Uh, e- I- Maybe Janis Joplin would be cool oh, too. Oh, that would be Janis fucking Joplin. nice. John yeah. Joplin would be amazing, dude. Amy Winehouse, maybe. Oh, Amy Winehouse yeah. would be sick. You're know just her. sipping with her. Just yeah. like, oh, and she's, she's like, ah, oh. she's like yeah. yawns, but she sings at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> back to black. <laughs> back to black. <laughs> dude, I would love to just get to know her and listen to her and let her know that she's loved. That she's gonna be all right, dude. Someone like her just seems so troubled. Yeah. So much uh, demons. Yeah. So much, and maybe she had no one that she can trust that she can fight it. You seen that video of when she won her Grammy? Uh, she, and it's just like something out of a movie. She's yeah. just like she's laughing. She's like, and she's like, yeah, she starts, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to talk to her, man. Maybe uh, there's some other ones. I don't want to say the Beatles. That's fucking whack. But you could. I could. I'll say the Beatles, but then uh, I feel like I already know too much about them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, already hit Tom York. Oh, let's listen. Ooh, let's talk to Tom okay. York. Joe Cocker is an old uh, uh, singer that I that I really like. Uh, but let's, let's see what else. What, I would there... want to have Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller hasn't been on any podcast. He's interesting, but he's like interesting. He's like a part, like a trailblazer too. Like very I just rewatched really Tropic Thunder the other day. Oh, oh yeah, he's so yeah. fucking funny. He's so intelligent. Dude. Jack Black, I and he does a lot of like charity work too. Yeah, he's like an interesting guy because he, he plays these ridiculous characters, but in real life he doesn't really seem like a funny dude. Yeah, he seems like very serious. Yeah, he seems serious, and that's I always find that very interesting when people. Uh, are like these uh, play these insane characters on on the screen. Yeah. Obviously, it's acting, but yeah. it, you always think that when someone's like a comedian, it's like the it's an extension of themselves. It's like a, you know Kramer from Seinfeld. Yeah, he was so serious off the show. Yeah, like obviously he had the meltdown at the oh, Laugh yeah. Factory where yeah. he said the N word like thirty Crazy. times. Yeah. yeah, but there was a there was like a behind the scenes video that resurfaced a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and they were at the hospital, right? And uh, all of them were in the hospital. I forget who was in the hospital bed, but someone cracks a joke, and Jerry starts laughing. Uh, what's the woman? I forget her name. The girl's name? I don't remember. And then, but yeah, it's the guy, the girl, and then the short bald one. Yeah. Uh, and Kramer, and everyone starts laughing. Like, <laughs> the, and then the crew starts laughing. And Michael Richards is his name. Kramer. Yeah. He's like, okay, can we can we get going? Yeah. All business. Yeah. He's like, all right, can we do it again? <laughs> like this like it's just yeah, like yeah, yeah. and it's just like holy shit bro he was so serious yeah and you would think he's like the silliest one because he's the silliest one on screen and but he was how, just like all business I wonder how it was for them the people on the cast like well, they him. say they say that he was always like serious and he was like come on guys come on come on really? and yeah. like uh, you know Michael Richards said later in his life he was just like I wish I could have enjoyed Seinfeld more because I was always just like okay how can I make this better how can I do this you yeah, know yeah. similar to like people that we worked with in the yeah. past it's just like on screen they're like silly and funny but like they're kind of neurotic off screen they're just like okay you know what I mean yeah and it was just like it made me sad because like the whole cra- the whole cast is like laughing and they're looking at each other like haha <laughs> like oh I just fucked up <laughs> he must have been like like uh, alienated he must yeah. have been like in his own world half yeah. of the time like, and he's like you can tell like he's on the foot of the foot of the bed he's like okay come guys come on yeah oh, come on. That's, that's kind of annoying to work with though I feel like like everybody's having a good time or there's like a family environment and this one yeah. guy wants to be like I guess the the bit the artist yeah, or like yeah. the, the one who just takes it way too seriously yeah bro it's, it's like, like look at the killer. killer yeah yeah it's read a, the room it's dog. a comedy dude like yeah no one's, no one's fucking, we're not Dan Day Lewis here. Yeah, you know just, I mean? yeah, exactly. Like, dude, just because, yeah, exactly. Just because everyone else doesn't have to, like, get in that mode to be great, yeah. doesn't mean you have to fucking make it bad for everyone else. Yeah. Like, if you need that to be great, you do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially, like, yeah. Yeah. In a comedy, I feel like every loosen up a little bit. Like, obviously, do your job, but relax. Yeah. Relax. All right. Good question. Thank you, Christo. Christo Mercado. Okay. Oh, Andrew Larson three five nine says, "Who has more more soul in them?" Oh, I think Malvin does. No, I think you you have a lot of soul. No, you got more. You got more soul. You're a bigger guy. Oh, I, uh, oh, like like. <laughs> 
Like square footage, square footage yeah. of soul I per want. capita, yeah, 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 per capita, okay. Yeah. okay. But I feel like in general, you have more soul. You uh, you know, you're you're nice, you're charismatic, people love you. I don't have any of that. Yes, <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> you're like I do. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I feel like uh, we both have soul. I think we both have soul. Look, I got soul. But, but I'm, I'm not, not a soldier. soldier. I got so, but I'm not a soldier. soldier. And it's true. Yeah. I'm not enlisted yeah, in the US so- Army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I think we all have soul, baby. You have soul. Everybody that listens to this podcast has soul, man. That's what that's what that's what makes life worth living. The soul, yeah. the sweet joys of life dude you're listening to music and you're just fucking like ooh, yeah ooh, and then next thing like the, the, you fucking get a beer or something ooh. bro I, I've, been, I, I've been around people where like a, a great song comes on and I'm just like I have that reaction like yeah. ooh, don't uh, listen, listen to uh, that guitar riff uh, yeah. and they just like they're like dude you're okay it's just a song you're weird I'm like not I'm like, bro, I can never be close to you. Because they'll listen to trap, I bet. Yeah, or, or like stupid, or, you know, or like Katy Perry or some shit. And I like Katy Perry too, yeah. but like, it's just like, just like the reaction. Yeah. And I remember like, it's indicative of like our relationship or friendship in that moment. It's just like, you know, it's just like, bro, I can't, I can't, we can, we can only just be friends. Yeah. We can never be close friends. We can never yeah. be best friends. We can never be in a, you know, in a partnership or whatever. Because like, I, I just know that I can't, that you don't see the beauty the way I see the beauty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially in music. I never understand people who don't see the beauty and like when yeah. you hear a song that means yeah. so much to you. You don't feel it. Yeah. You don't feel then, the passion in the, the artist's voice or the, the instruments. Yeah, when a song pops up, it makes you want to just like, ooh, like hit something. Yes, dude. Just yes. Just like, oh. And I feel like that's that's when we realized yeah. that we were really similar when we yeah. started showing each other music. Yeah. And it's just like, we, yeah. ooh, and then, oh, let's take a shot, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, bro, listen, listen to this, listen to this. Yeah. And we, we, we both just listen to it and we were both open to each other's music yeah oh dude same that, with Jacob Jay, we, we oh yeah, like yeah Jacob. Jacob dude Jacob fucking love Jacob and yeah. this is also one of the things why I always don't want I never want to become alcoholic and give up alcohol because when you're listening to music it's beautiful but when you just have like a fucking Jack and Coke or some whiskey or some alcohol with it's you it's different dude and then like a good song pops up you gotta take another shot I never wanted. I never wanted to be like a problem where I'm like I'm ruining my life because I always yeah. want to use it for all, for when I'm listening to music. Yeah, dude. Oh, music. <sighs> oh, oh my gosh. Gosh, dude. So, but we both have equal amount of soul. Yes. Yes. And like I said, we're not soul. I mean, we have soul, but we're not soul. <laughs> uh, Johnny Taco six oh, one nine says, uh, "Who would win in a taco eating contest?" Ooh, I think I think me, you, me, me, I me, think me. It's you. You put it away. Dog. I can eat fucking fast, dude. You eat fast, and I eat past my limit all the time. Yeah, dude. like what you called? I uh, remember when we took a road trip to Bakersfield, and yeah. uh, you, we passed by McDonald's. And you bought four McChickens, <laughs> and I thought I was just like, oh. Maybe one or two for right now, two for when we get to the, the place. No, I'm just like... You eat all four of them yeah, in like the whole 20 minutes. Shit. Yeah. And I was just like, whoa. Dude, I'm a fat... That's why, I, that's why I'm fat. I'm no, a fat like, kid at heart. I, I wasn't judging. I was. I respected you. I was like, dude, I like that. Dude, I love... If I love something, I love them. And tacos, I can eat a bunch of tacos. Sometimes like I'll eat eight and then and then my body's like, hey, no more. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'll eat another one. Yeah. Especially with ceviche. That's it's the most I'm with ceviche. When I eat something, when I eat it, or like cocktail or tostada. Us, and after a while, my body's like, you need to stop. You're going to get bloated. I'm yeah. like, I'll get, make some room, baby. Yeah. Make some fucking room. I think my taco limit is maybe six to eight. Ooh, six to eight. What about you? Oh, so good, dude. Probably more. If, if I need to push myself. Yeah. So, so to answer the question, Joel. Yes. And also, dude, burritos are the way to go, I think. I could eat two burritos, which is not that much, but burrito, carne asada burrito with cheese in there with fucking beans. Oh, God. Mexican food is amazing, dude. Yeah, Jesus I Christ. love Mexican food. It's amazing. Yeah. Douche. All right. Uh, so, Gbab underscore Y03 asks, what is something you like about podcasting? Also, love the podcasts and you guys. Oh, thank you. We love you too. We love, love you too, too, man. We love you too, baby. What is something you love about podcasting, Malvin Diaz from Eastern, or from uh, from Soul Primos? <laughs> so, I think uh, I think I love like the connection with people. Yeah, I think like the fact like the the um, because the reason why I love podcasts too is like if you, I feel like I'm there with them. Yeah, and the fact that people feel like they're here with us when yeah. we talk, I feel I like that a lot. It was, yeah, yeah, it's more. Favorite. I love the connect. I feel like it brings out like uh, it's weird to explain. It brings out like uh, a different side of me. I think. And then I don't know what it is. Like I'm not even trying to be. 
<laughs> Philosophical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I first started podcasting in Isimo, I was so in my head, like, how I, how I should act. And then... Like, I feel so comfortable saying things that I would never tell other people. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. never tell loved ones or tell friends. And it's made me uh, find comfort in, my in like, these stories that I've had or and uh, made me feel open. I feel so open when I'm on this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's so strange. You know, I, I used to not, especially the first times podcasting, I used to get nervous and not want to say anything. I would want to just say the most random shit <laughs> just so I won't have to talk, but I just feel so open. And then when people like uh, DM me about like a, something, something similar that happened, it's like you're finding friends, you're finding family from across the world and then, uh, and then we're all connected. We're all primos. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I think my, my favorite part is like, uh, or one of my favorite parts is like, it puts like all my experience experiences in life to yeah. like good use yeah you know all this shit the, the bad things and the good things and the crazy things and the outlandish things yeah the, the fact that I get to share them with the world is just like uh, it's like uh, it made it, it made experiencing them even more worth it you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah even the bad even the bad and I like the idea too of like uh, obviously it's like a podcast it's like kind of like a it's like a what, what I'm trying to say is like it's like a documentation of of my life in in some some way, yeah. where it's like this isn't truly how I live day to day. But like when I'm 40, I'll see when I what I was doing when I was 29 with you. I can this is something I can always look back to our intros. Yeah, when we're older, it's something I can look back to. This is like a documentation of of specific portion of our life. Yeah, and as we get older, we'll continue to do it and like we'll evolve. But I think it's like a record, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like a record of so, us yeah. and our friendship. It's a stamp of stamping the time. This will always be available to anybody. Maybe they find us when we're dead. And yeah. Hopefully they don't wipe us out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hopefully Race, we never die. Yeah. Races. People. Uh, good question. That's a great question. Daniel underscore San 50. Have y'all gone on a Chipotle date recently? Uh, I emoji, heart emoji. Ooh. We haven't. Wait, me and him or me and my, me and us and our significant others? Mm, probably us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, we haven't no, got we you. Have it. No, we have it. It's just the move. Yeah, it's just the move. Yeah, because um, you're very far away from me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would love it to the Chipotle. We should do this after. We should do it after. I'm done. Am I spitting? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in okay. my face. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so, Daniel, I'm about to put some footage of us enjoying our Chipotle right here. And this is if Melvin's not joking around. If he means that he wants to hang out with me after this, I'm going to put the footage right here. Boop. And then hopefully, this is just us still right here. Okay. Uh, XO Dead Pegasus asks, Will y'all ever do a ghost hunting vlog? Dude, yes. That goes yes. back to like Joel the vlog. I want to do it so bad. I want to do a ghost hunting one. I want to do a Sasquatch hunting one. I want to do an urban exploring one. I want to do all these vlog pods. And they're coming. We just got to keep yeah. rolling with what we're doing now. Yeah. It'll probably be in like a 20th episode, maybe. Yeah. 25th episode, yes. something like that. But there's so much opportunities for those. Yeah. And then there's so much fun. The fucking Salt and Sea one was fun. It was a blast. It was different. We got to fucking go out of the out of the city for a bit and hang out or do something different than, than just sitting down and talking and trying to make it look cool here. We got to be out. It's much more, it's, it's exhilarating when you're out, you're standing, you're walking around, you're seeing something. Yeah. It's uh, it's fun, but those are coming. Those are coming, baby. Uh, Lily underscore Sandy asks, "What's your favorite Joel and Melvin moment?" Oh, do we? How many moments do we have? Oh, man, we have so many. I think. <laughs> What's our favorite moment? Okay, I'm not gonna say the ones where we cry together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we already said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe uh, on the pod. On the pod. Yeah. Ooh, remember when we had uh, the the Bennies incident? Was <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, the Bennies incident was was yeah, yeah, yeah. basically uh, we were in Bakersfield <laughs> and we're like. Uh, <laughs> We saw Denny's and it was it looked ratchet and torn down. No, we were we were like yelping. We were like googling where the nearest Denny's oh, yeah, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it takes us to this uh, to this parking lot, and we're like, where is this? And we turn the corner and we see a restaurant yeah. that weird looking restaurant, yeah. and the GPS said that we're here. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> you were like, this ain't Denny's. <laughs> And we're like, we both at the same time, we're like, this, this is Benny's. Benny's. Yeah, we're like, dude, we're like, fuck yeah, homie. We're like, fuck yeah. <laughs> that, that can't be our best moment. That can't be, that can't that be can't our best moment. We have better ones. No. <laughs> we start dying <laughs> laughing and stuff. We laugh a lot. We have a lot of good times, uh, dude. I want to say maybe, uh, I don't know, basically any podcast we've ever been on. I know. On the, let's say, East one we had some uh, funny... Uh, 
<laughs> there are a lot of funny moments, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we have a. Oh, uh, we uh, you know one time we we covered we were seeing we were doing karaoke and we did uh, oh that the, might be the system of a down footage we yeah. were doing system of down footage yeah it which was I after, put it in right here it was after one of our live shows and uh, we were just like playing system of down we sang like seven straight songs yeah and like. I I lost my voice the next Dude, time. Dude, we were singing, and then we were singing so loud, and then fucking Leslie was like singing some of them, and at some point she just looked worried. Because yeah. we were like, go get great name, go make me go, make me high, make me high. So some of it down is a perfect fucking music yeah, 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 yeah. to do karaoke and to vibe out with your homie, dog. Yeah, it's amazing. But that's probably when I'll, I'll hopefully I find the footage, and then you can see it. One of my favorite moments. What'd you go? Uh, v Perez one one zero four says, "When I listen to y'all talk, it's like I'm with my friends or family." How did your friendship get that close? I think we answered that already. Yeah, like, uh, sometimes your friendship get close. As you just gotta ask why it's not. Why you ask the other person? Why aren't we closer? Yeah, I think like uh, you know, I think we realized when we got closer, we realized that we were pretty similar. Yes, and also like we we we're fucking, we think we're both, I think Joel was like one of the, literally the funniest person I've ever met. I think or one of, one, the one of the funniest, the funniest persons. Person ever, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, dude, it's fucking, it's just a blast every time. And also, you know, we, you know, we have a, you know, we respect each other's boundaries and, and uh, we, we're, we're, look, we talk shit or we, we act stupid around stuff, but we're also very respectful people. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's say yeah. that. We're not like, I'm never, I'm never disrespect yeah. him or anybody he loves or anything. And we're not, not that I would want to. I'm just and we're, we're not stupid either. Like, yeah. we, 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 we have like, Interesting conversations. We're not trying to be silly. Yeah, and I think that's what that's what's cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a question for you, probably. JD dot underscore dot forty six asks, "No more Chipotle or no more rotisserie chicken?" Oh, this is a question this that will fucking game. hurt me so fucking hard. <laughs> this is a stupid. One. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Duh. Not that he's asking, but that's, that's, like, you have to answer. I, no, I would say, oh no, because I want to get sponsored by Chipotle or sponsored by rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay, they both have pros and cons. Pros of a rotisserie chicken, you can eat it. It's you can do a lot more things with it. Uh, Chipotle, you can just eat it. Okay, <laughs> you just eat it, dude. So fun. This is, I have to pick one. Can I pick both? Can I? Okay. It's so crazy. This whole shit started when episode of Eastman, where you're like, I love rotisserie chickens, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was like, well, you just fuck it. <laughs> and I was so stupid. And then now I really and you were like. like yeah, what did you say? <laughs> That's a good idea, dude. And uh, now people will know you. People think that I fuck with Tissaray chickens, man. But when in reality, they know that you they fuck with Tissaray chickens. Chicken. chickens up the ass. So, I, okay, I would just say, fuck, dude, that's a hard one. Um, rotisserie chickens have helped me through so much, dude. I'm not even fucking joking. They've helped me through so much. They've been there with no one else. Yeah, was. the Food for Less ones, the Walmart ones, uh, the Costco ones, the Sam's Club ones. Yeah. Rotisserie chickens across the board have gone through so much. And you could split it up. You can cut it up and do fucking whatever you want to do with it. Put it with yeah. rice. Put it with avocado. Oh, I might have to lean towards rotisserie chicken because... It's eight dollars, and that'll give you. I can give you a meal for the whole day. A Chipotle, eight dollars will get you fucking chips and guac. You know, eight dollars doesn't really get you much anymore. At Chipotle, you just yeah. spend thirteen dollars. Yeah. So, I still want to be sponsored by Chipotle one day, somehow, shape, or form. Maybe we'll reach out to Chipotle. We don't have the views right now, but. I'll go with rotisserie chicken for now. That's a hard question. I'm getting emotional. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> so rotisserie chicken. Yeah, rotisserie chicken, unfortunately, yes. Has to go. Uh, no, I'm I'm sticking with rotisserie oh, chicken. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sticking okay. with rotisserie chicken. All right, dude. All right. Fuck, that was hard, man. That was really good, man. All right. Um Fuck, that was hard. Okay, so Fuck. Uh underscore A dot f- flow asked, if you were forced to start a new hobby, what would you choose? Force to start a new hobby. I would want to start building uh, bird houses. Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> Just live with them? No, <laughs> uh, no, no. no. Uh, uh, bird houses. You know what I mean? Like the, those wooden ones? Yes. How long have we gone for? No, I thought I thought I started recording. Okay. But I didn't. I'll, yeah. You know, building birdhouses. I used to, I built a birdhouse when I was in like a fourth grade. I yeah. thought it was so much fun. Yeah, really? I had painting and stuff like that. And I love seeing the birds, like putting little little food in there. I love seeing the birds come in and out and yes. stuff like that. And sometimes squirrels would come in and I, I really like that. I think that's what I would do. That's fucking nice, Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sweet. I've never seen this side. You're a birder. You're a bird boy. You're a bird boy. <laughs> yeah. Don't the, dude, you'd be, have like a bird, you'd be a bird breeder, dude. A bird breeder. That's what you want to be. Oh, breed birds? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, fuck. 
<laughs> and the two birds are like, <laughs> you're putting them a running train. Yeah, bro, yeah. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? <laughs> yeah, pigeon. <laughs> No pigeons. <laughs> the pigeons are fucking, the husband pigeons coming. Let me fuck you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, oh okay, my fuck god. You <laughs> yeah. I would just say something wholesome. Like I would love to be a, a musician. I would love to play guitar when I was young. If I if I start off when I was young, I would love to learn how to play the guitar. So by the time I'm this age, I'm fucking shredding, fucking, I'm getting drunk, and then Melvin's my singer. Get off stage, you know. You're fucking the lead. The the the, the the, the fucking front man and we're fucking shredding and then with the chorus we're both singing come yeah, on yeah, yeah. feel the noise <laughs> <laughs> why that song <laughs> come on feel the noise <laughs> dude that's what I would want dude. Yeah. I, if I, I would give everything away to be a fucking successful musician dude. to be a musician or yeah, the band yeah, yeah, yes yeah. I would do anything I could oh my god that's like pinnacle life that's like the, you want it life Dude, imagine you're fucking fucked up. You're fucking singing the song. Everybody's like, yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm thirsty. Give me another beer. You get a beer. And then you're just fucking vibing out to your fucking song and shit. Or, you know, you just do a cover. I would do, I, I would do a cover of like, a, What a Fool Believes. Ooh. What a Fool Believes. I go to some place a good long ago. You're playing that song. You're drunk as fuck. That's fucking happiness right there. Yeah. Boom. Dude, all right, man. That's fucking dope. <laughs> fucking bird. <laughs> Fuck birds. You make birds fucking weird. Yeah. You're weird. Dude, dude. I want to say bird houses. I'm building bird homes. <laughs> You're be having people fucking their homes, weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Anaconda underscore ball pit asks, favorite actor and actors you think are overrated? Uh, favorite actor is probably Tom Hardy and Bronson. Okay. And Bronson. Uh, Daniel Day Lewis, always seen There Will Be Blood. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, iconic, yeah. dude. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, what's the, what, the one guy uh, from District 9, Shalto Copley? Shalto Copley? Oh, okay. The main guy from District 9, he was fucking... That movie's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that thing is overrated. Uh, I think I maybe I haven't seen too much of Timothy Chimelet. Uh, maybe I haven't <laughs> seen Timothy too much. Timothy Yeah, but I'm always like, why, why is this guy... Or... Uh, uh, yeah, maybe him. I'm like, I don't, I don't see what the, the appeal, the appeal is on this guy. Yeah. But also, maybe I haven't seen too much from him. I'll be honest, I haven't seen a lot of his movies. Um, another actor that's overrated, I fear. I don't know. Who do you think? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like overrated actors. Like I feel like I know. I feel like I have that. Actors that are I mainstream right now. Like I can't just, I can't put a face to them. The, I mean, well, no one thinks The Rock is a great actor. It's true. No, he just playing the fucking rock all the time. Um, overrated, overrated. I think everybody that's that's like hot right now is pretty much deserving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who's like the the most popular actors right now? Daniel, uh, fucking uh, Leonardo. Yeah, Tom Leonardo Arnie. DiCaprio is probably one of my favorite actors. Um, fucking Timothy, then Tom Holland, Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf, Shia LaBeouf is amazing. Uh, Maybe underrated. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he, he has so much drama outside of his career. Maybe he uh, he's underrated a little bit. Um, but I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I would just say Timothy. Timothy Shimalaus. That's what I would say is overrated a little bit. You know what I mean? I will say what movie's overrated. Lady Bird was overrated. I thought it, it sucked. I haven't seen that one. I was expecting it to be better, but yeah. it was just boring to me. Really? Yeah. You know what movie was boring? The Priscilla movie. Oh, was it? Yeah. But you were raving about it. Huh? I, th- I thought it looked beautiful. It was cool, but I was like, I'll never watch it ever again because it's just so slow. Yeah. And I guess it's showing that she was a child inside this house yeah. that I always will desert her for so much time. And obviously the weird groom grooming shit. Yeah. It's very weird. But it was cool. Just so slow. So slow. Okay. So uh, Bryce suit. Bryce E W T F asks, I'm flying to Vegas next month to play some reggae music and I might be a little free. Oh wait, okay, so he asked two questions. Would y'all do collab with me? And are you guys located in Cali still? Where exactly? Because he's flying to Las Vegas next next month to play some music and he might be a little free. I'd be down. Yeah. I mean, we're in Los Angeles. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, we could meet up in Los Angeles. Yeah, if you come through to Los Angeles, bro, we'd, we'd be down to meet up and do something. Yeah, we'd, we'll, yeah, we'll meet up, we'll kick it, we'll drink, we'll fucking yeah. have a beer. Oh, I mean, you're 21 and over, yeah, right? Yeah, hopefully. And, and, uh, hopefully. Uh, you, uh, you know, you can play this reggae music. It'd be fucking cool. Yeah, we'll film it or something. We'll fucking yeah. watch you. We'll drink to you and shit, dude. Yeah, okay. Oh, we'll love that. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Uh, 
now we're getting to the to the real nitty gritty of things. Yes. Bonafide underscore breed asks, would you rather suck 10 dicks till they come or one dick 10 times? Uh, I think one dick because I feel like I get to know what he likes. <laughs> All right. I'll get to know him on, a, know on, a, on a better level. <laughs> yeah, because 10 dicks is like 10 different chances of like getting yeah, STDs. Some guys, yeah, it, some that, guys got that schmegma. They, oh, they got that dick cheese. Some guys like it longer than others. Yeah, so some guys don't shave their fucking balls, bro. I at least one day I'll be like, yo, can you shave your balls? Can you shower? Make sure there's no cheese. How do you <laughs> like it? That's it, dude. Ten dicks is fucking yeah. So basically, one you would yeah one ten times. Okay, what about you? One ten times. You would do what it was. Say it. What? I was, would. I would. <laughs> so would I rather suck a dick? Would I rather suck ten dicks till they come or one dick ten times? I would rather suck one dick ten times. Is that one dick's coming ten times? Yeah. So shout out all the dick suckers out there, dog. We you know we respect that. We yeah, respect I appreciate that. you guys. Yeah, we, we we love you guys. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a that's a good question. That's probably one of the best questions so far. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thought provoking. <laughs> underscore B we underscore. So B W E E. Uh asks, Do y'all got any single cousins? Uh soon cousins. I feel like all my cousins are dead. Okay. A lot of my cousins are dead. Okay. Uh, from a rancho. Uh you know, all my cousins are usually older than me, so they're all they're all like a married. Married, married, married and family. Shit, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, no, we're getting older ourselves, baby. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any cousins. Uh I used to, but not anymore. They've probably passed. Hey, uh, you know, but, we do have some soul primos that are single. Hey, we got some soul primos. Hey, l- listen, we got some soul primos that are single in the chat, man. Yeah. Hey, comment down below if you're a soul, if you're a single soul primo or a single soul prima, and let we start matchmaking, baby. Yes. So comment down below if you're if you're that, and yeah. also give a description about yourself and yes. why you would be a catch. Yes, yes. If you're single and you're looking for someone, comment down below and say I'm I'm a single soul primo prima. Uh, I'm Latino, I live here. Latino, I live yeah, here. I'm I live 42. here. I'm this old, and uh, and I love to do this. Let's link up. Let's go, baby. And then maybe we can make some dreams fucking come true. Yeah, maybe yeah. we can find somebody for somebody. Joel and I want to get invited to weddings. <laughs> yes, I love. Dude, I used to work weddings. Yeah, I never been to a wedding for fun. Really? I want to change that, dude. Oh yeah, they're fun. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I used to see the behind the scenes of, of the brides crying, breaking down. The husbands not giving a fuck, dude. So much chaos. I want to go to a wedding and just enjoy and get fucked up, dude. Yeah. Without my camera, first of all. <laughs> okay, I would say that. Yeah. That might ruin some plans. Okay. All Boom. right. Drizzy Drade. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, guys. I just lost where I was at. No, it's okay, Melvin. It's okay, Melvin. Drizzy Drade asks, what is the meaning of life? The meaning of life. That's crazy you asked that. Yeah. Do you know? Uh, the meaning of life. There is no meaning to life. I'll say that. There is no meaning to any of this. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean you can't give it any meaning. That doesn't mean you can't find you can't find your purpose. That doesn't mean you can't find a meaning. Everybody's gonna have a different meaning. You know what I mean? Everybody has a different purpose. Your job is to find your own meaning. Give life a meaning. Give life a purpose. Your own individual purpose. Someone might have a different. You might your purpose might be to be like, oh, I just want to fucking make birds and shit, right? I'm like, that's kind of dope. My meaning is to be a musician. Boom. The difference. But that no one there's there's no meaning for everybody. You just got to find it. Got to create it. That's the beautiful thing about life, dude. We can make it into whatever we want to. Maybe not exactly. Look, what's that song called by Rolling Stones? Um, You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you get what you need. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Listen, aim for the stars. Even if you don't make it. You still no, be, no. If you aim for the moon. If you miss that shit, you still be amongst the stars, baby. Ooh, wait. Yeah, dude. I, I agree. Yes. I think the meaning of life is to create. To create, whether it's art or or relationships or create ch- children. Yeah. Or you create memories. Yeah. Like it's just it's just to create your life itself is creation. Yeah. So therefore we are we you know, our need is to create. Yeah. I think that's the meaning to life. That's actually way better than what I said. Dude, dude. dude we're creating. We're creating right now. Uh, when are you going to create children? <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. All right. Is that a question? <laughs> okay. Okay. Luckily, luckily, <laughs> luckily, I already have a child created 14 years ago. Yeah. All right. Whatever. So thank you, Drizzy Dre. That's a great question. Okay. So Aldor27 asks, when are you going to upload your podcast videos to Spotify? Uh, can we do that? I thought I that was like so. Joe Rogan. Like this. I th- yeah. I thought, 
I thought that was one of the top fucking yeah, top dogs. Yeah. I think we'll we'll look into it, bro. But uh, I think that's just uh, yeah. And also, yeah. like, do people watch? The sp- I feel like Spotify is not a spot you'd want to watch something on. I there's watch, no comments either. Yeah, there's no comments. Yeah, it's like I think that's like when you're watching something on YouTube. I always scroll down the comments. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Uh, yeah you have to. Yeah, it's a it's, part of the experience. So, and also that on top of like, I don't think they even allow other podcasts. Yeah, because I feel like that bandwidth is only safe for the top dogs. For Joe Rogan, it makes sense. Yeah, um, and other big podcasters. We'll, but we'll look into it. Yeah, we'll look into it. But uh, we are on Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, and Apple yeah, Music, and YouTube. If you want to watch the video, just hop on our YouTube. It helps us out the most. Yes. Boom. And I think maybe the uh, Apple Podcasts. Yeah. Whatever. Apple, but mostly YouTube. Mostly YouTube. Yeah. Uh, G Wu underscore Han. Shout out to our boy G Wu Han. Han G Wu Han. Uh, ask a separate vlog channel or maybe separate Patreon series because the Salt and Sea episode was a W, dude. Thank you very much. We love that salt Thank and you, sea brother. episode, like we've said. We love that salt and sea. Eventually, we'll do a Patreon, but I feel like for now, maybe maybe you feel differently. I feel like everything's going to stay on this. We want to build this main channel. Yeah. You know, when people start doing uh, like uh, flagrant clips, it's always, it's always like flagrant, uh, the podcast, it's always after they've established that main channel and they're like, oh, maybe we can make extra revenue by making a clip channel, making yeah. a separate channel. Might make a Patreon in a month or two or something like that. Yeah, yeah. We just need a little bit more time to make a Patreon. Yeah. Uh, but the Patreon's coming. Yeah, Patreon's coming. Patreon's coming, and the vlogs will be vlog or vlog pods will be uploaded on the same channel, So Primo's channel. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, stay tuned. We got a lot of cool ones in store. Coming. Yeah, dude, we're very excited. Like we said, we fucking some of like the the ghost hunting ones. Uh, we can go explore all the spots. Maybe just travel. You know. You know, because sometimes, like, listen, I love filming, and sometimes, like, when I when I do these jobs, freelance jobs, or, like, I'm trying to get into commercials or documentaries, everything's, like, so precise. You got to make everything, make sure everything looks beautiful, everything looks right. And the thing about when I started video, which I also love, I love both elements, but I love, like, the spontaneous, like, hey, let's, just, let's just go here, let's just film it, let's not plan it out too much. Let's just fucking film it here, cool shot, cool shot, cool shot, okay, let's talk a little bit. Like, Salt and Sea was, like, not really much of it was planned. It was, oh, this will be a cool shot. Okay, let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I want a shot of the sunset. Boom, boom, let's do it. It's like, I love that spontaneous, just like, yeah, it's yeah, boring yeah. as you go. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? And then it's, it's just so much fun. Yeah, yeah. So much fun. Yeah. It's so free, too. Yeah, so, so free. free. Uh, okay, so... Um Oh, Milo Sino underscore. Oh, Shout Milo out. What's Shane. up, brother? He's got a good beard. Yeah, real good beard. Real handsome guy. Uh, he's uh, He asked, uh, go to song for a chill drive. Oh. So, okay, what's my, what's my sport is fish? I, I, I've, been, uh, I've been listening. Yeah. Can you hand me the, the white can as well, if you're up there? Oh, the monster? Oh, God, I didn't want to mention it. Sugar free monster. <laughs> sugar free. Yeah, finally sugar-free. you learned about the sugar free <laughs> monster. Uh, what's you called? Dude, bro, I've been, right now, when I go on a drive, I always play uh, the song. It's called Therapy by Duke Dumont. Yes. Look it up, dude. It's got impeccable vibes, great piano. It just, oh, it has everything, dude. It's just when the sun is setting and you're just driving and I'm, you know, I, I was driving down the beach the other day. Ooh, yes. Uh, uh, and I'm just, I just, oh my God, this beautiful orange skies. Yeah. And this, the color is so deep. Oh my Ooh, God. Okay, it's such I a like good that. song. Therapy by Duke Dumont. Highly recommend. I have three that I've been blasting. It's okay. called The, the Root. No, it's called Tomorrow by The Roots. Oh, I didn't know you fuck with The Roots. You and Who's Army by Redhead. And then I've been, I fucking, uh, On a Sunday Afternoon by Lighter Shade of Brown. Okay. And also this last one, it's a, it's an Oasis song, but the Liam Gallagher live version on MTV, Champagne Supernova. Okay. It's so fucking amazing. It's probably my favorite version of that song. I just got really? into Oasis like three weeks ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I've been looking at the solo performances of each one, but... This one, look, guys, uh, Liam Gallagher, Champagne Supernova, MTV Unplugged, this version is the best version of this fucking song. They have, like, a string. They have, like, a little orchestra with it. Oh, I, it love, is, I love when artists oh, do that yes, for, like, uh, for live, live performances. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's so incredible. So that one, you listen to music, and sometimes, like, if I'm, like... Let's say I'm just like uh, I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm just driving. If some ambient music, some dream, some dreamscapes is like. Oh really? Some- You've been doing that? Wow. Like I'll play some. I'll play one right now. 
<laughs> Get copyrighted. <laughs> we have Artlist, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sponsored by Artlist. Just kidding. That's a sponsor we want eventually. Yeah, oh yeah. We're, we're, but we're manifesting. Yeah, because yeah, we, we use our music all the time. But that's a great question. Thank you for asking that. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Alex.exe76 asks, have y'all explored each other's bodies? Question mark? Um, I, I can't say we... Uh, I can't say I haven't wanted to. Oh! oh! Dude, I like, am not. I don't know why I said that. Look, I've have I explored your body? Oh, oh I, no, I, I've seen I, the most I've seen about your body is when you lifted your shirt up. Oh, you see my belly? <laughs> no, you have this Under Armour shirt that has a hole in it. <laughs> and I'm almost like, why are you always wearing the same Under Armour shirt when you were yeah, 14? And I'm just like, you saw that? <laughs> yes, man. There's like a big ass hole in it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Why do you always wear the same Under Armour shirt? I don't know. I, I knew you get a new one. I knew you get a new one. Do you? Well, it just keeps me. It keeps me like fresh. It keeps and cool. me cool yeah. when it's hot. It keeps me warm when it's cold. I just ever since I was I played sports, I, I just really liked how it felt. Does it really help? I always feel like I just get hotter. No, it it's helps sexy. me. Yeah. Or hotter. Yeah, it's it's sexier. Yeah. It's sexier. <laughs> <laughs> <We're gonna> look <laughs> Uh, no, we haven't explored each other's bodies. Uh, not yet, anyway. What? Uh, what? Listen, if you want to... That's such a strange question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you want to explore your homies' bodies? If you do, that's not a problem. Do you want to explore our bodies? Yeah, if you want... Are you projecting? It, like, DM us if you want to explore our bodies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll set up a FaceTime Zoom call, and then we'll just be like, so this right here? Yeah, because we'll do something similar to... You ever heard of Spready Gibbs? You heard of Spreddy Gibbs? No. <laughs> Freddie Gibbs, his wife or his ex-girlfriend leaked uh, pictures of him spreading his ass, uh, ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And that's called Spreddy Gibbs, baby. <laughs> if you want some Spreddy, Spreddy, Spreddy Diaz? I didn't know that. Spreddy Melvin Diaz, Spreddy Joel? Spreddy DM Joel's. us. We'll send you a picture of us spreading oh our cheeks. Oh my God, dude. I did not know that. Yeah, his wife just put that put that on, on Twitter. His uh, Just him like ex? bending over. Yeah, his ex. Oh. Spreading his ass cheeks. You see his asshole right there. Yeah. Spreading games, baby. <laughs> Spreading I didn't know games. that. Yeah, dude. The, yeah, yeah. It's not a good sight. Uh, okay, so T. Dot Rosales one one zero six asks, funny childhood memory. Damn, this is this is a lot. There's a ton. There's a lot of shit stories from my childhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess uh, the one I, I said from uh, Isimo, uh, the, it happened over here actually, right here, right next door. <laughs> yeah. It was like when I had a big old above ground pool. And I had two cats and a dog. I had Sylvester and Max. And then uh, what we would do is we would fill up the pool with water. We would go on the roof. And then we'd take turns throwing our cat in the pool. And like, I just remember seeing the cats like... Rah! And they would run back up so you could throw them again. They, no, like, they, they would like try to run away, but my, my brother would just grab them out the pool and then throw us back on the roof. And then we would just throw them off the roof. We, I don't think we should share that story. <laughs> That's a fun memory. That's just a fun memory. But they asked funny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the cats were like, cats were like dead. Stop <laughs> it. That's a fun, for me. That's funny. When I was that, that's like trauma. But that was when I was younger. That was a fun time. Funny childhood memories. Yeah, I, I was. I wasn't happy here as a child. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I have some, but none come to mind right now. Uh, let me see. Uh, I feel like I've said so many of my shit stories. I know. But yeah, I feel like I've said so many shit. So many shit. That that for me, that's funny, bro. When, not anymore, but like when you were a kid and shit, stuff, that was a funny thing to do. And then uh, funny childhood stories. Uh, you know, uh, fucking, what happened in here? What happened when I was a child? <laughs> I'm like, like all, you, you, you just like deleted it from your memory. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't remember. I just woke yeah. up and I was like 22. I don't know. Let me see, let me think about it. I don't know. I'm being troubled. I'm troubled right now. I don't know. Yeah, I, mean, I can't. No, no one comes to mind. We'll come back to this. Yeah, we'll come back to it. Yeah, we'll come back to this. But it's a good question. I appreciate you asking, but it's just uh, it's tough for us right now. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, Schmack City Josh asks. If you could have any walk-up song whenever you show up, which one would it be? Oh, shit. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, uh, Power by Kanye West. Uh, uh, hey. Oh. Uh, hey. It's just like, oh, moments uh, here. Okay, I'm in the 21st century. Hey. <laughs> Stupid. I was just saying, you fucking, pick? don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh, Joel's here. Yeah, no, Joel's <laughs> Nobody ever loved me like she do. Or silly love songs. Bum, 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 bum. I come up to somebody not a silly love song. I was shaking everybody's hand. I was like, whoa, that's him. That's Joel from Soul Primos. I kind of said, I'm not a silly love song. Mine's probably being like, 
Oops, I did it again by Britney Spears. Ooh, Oops, I did it again. It's like all Melvin's. Or, ain't no holla back, girl. Ain't no holla back. You tell me. Ain't no holla back, girl. Ain't no Dude, I'll tell you a funny, a funny shadow story. It's like there was his neighbors that had her here one time, right? And then there was this girl and his brother, right? And then uh, we we're both like the same age. We we're both 12 or like 11. And they invited me over. And then, like, the parents were gone. And then my parents were here, but I just snuck out and hung out with them. And then the girl was like, oh, I want to show you uh, my, uh, you know, Hollaback Girl? And I was like, yeah. She was like, I want to show you my choreography that I did for it. Right? And then she just danced for me for, like, 20 minutes. She was just showing me her choreography. And then I was alone. I was scared. And then she started sweating hard. And she was, like, out of breath. But she was still, she still, she just kept on dancing in front of me. And I was just sitting down on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> And at that time, she was like, she was doing that shit. And she was like, well, how old was she? She was like 20? <laughs> <laughs> you were both like 12? <laughs> like 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I just remember her being so out of breath and being like uh, just drenched in sweat chip. And then uh, and I was like, oh, I think I got to go home. And then she was like, well, after everything that I did. And then I just went home. Which, th- it's not that funny. <laughs> That's a funny, it's a funny story. It's funny. Funny. It just, uh, it was very uh, alarming. Dude, I, I remember, uh, oh man, I, I must have been eight or nine years old. And uh, we were watching Tarzan as a family, right? Yeah. It was like, must have been like a Friday night. We were watching Tarzan, the live action one. Yeah. And all of a sudden you just hear, boom. And it shook the whole house. And uh, I remember I see the reflections because the TV, I see the reflections on the wall, red, just like this. And we look outside the window and uh, the apartment complex, two houses down, blew up. Oh, no. And you see these fucking, this insane flames coming yeah. out, right? And uh, my back then, so my older sister is four years older than me, right? And she had a, a, like a close friend that lived in that building. Yeah. And I thought she was so pretty. And we, we used to have bunnies. We used to have rabbits. Yeah. And uh, we would let them, like, skimper in the in the front lawn. And neighbors would come out, you know, they'd come and play play with them, see them, take pictures of them and stuff like that. And uh, that girl would come, and I'd just be like, man, she's so pretty. Holy shit. I was like eight. Must have been eight years old. So yeah. She was like 12, 13. Maybe 13, 14, you know? And, uh, and then my oldest was just like, oh, my God. I think her name was Victoria. Yeah. Victoria's in that building. And, you know, my parents go check up on everyone. And uh, luckily, no one no one died. Some people did get burned. But uh, my parents were like, guys, you guys can stay at our apartment while you guys sort things out. Yeah. So my parents had, like, 20 people in our apartment. Yeah. Including that girl. Wow. And I was just like. Whoa, this girl's in my house yeah. right now, and I, and she was crying. Yeah, obviously her fucking house just blew up, and I just remember being like, "Do you do you want to see my toys?" And she was like, "Yeah," and I took her to my room. And I was showing her all my toys, uh-huh. and this isn't funny. <laughs> and and she was just like, "This is really cool, thank you." And I'm like, "Yeah, do you want one of them?" Oh, she crazy. was just like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> and looking back at it. She, why she said yes? She's fourteen years old, and she took uh, she took my uh, uh, you know remember Yu Gi Oh? Yeah, I do. Yeah, my blue eyes white dragon. Oh, one of my, one of my <laughs> favorite ones. Yeah, yeah. Why'd you care about that she one? She was like, "Can I have this one?" And I was just like, <laughs> "I was like, that's my favorite. That's blue eyes white dragon." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, mm-hmm. and yeah. she took it. <laughs> dude, fuck, <laughs> fuck Yu Gi Oh because I remember you know how people have like the the cards they would have the deck of cards yeah, yeah. and they would play like uh, they would battle each other. I used to go to like the fake. Uh, I used to buy the fake yes, one. Yes, I was just about to say, yeah, yeah. I used to buy the fake one, and people would be like, "Blue eyes, white dragon." I'm like, "That's it. I got 17 eye, forehead, <laughs> three legged black dragon." Dude, what the fuck yeah, is yeah, this, yeah. dude? Dude, I remember I had uh, Exodia. Yeah, yeah. The, what the like fuck the, is that? the main one. Oh, it's like a, it's like a. This you you have to have five. Yeah, you have to have. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I had Exodia, and I was like, "I have Exodia." <laughs> I'm like, bro, no one's fucking with this. And this Asian kid's like, these are fake. <laughs> what the fuck? These are fake. And I didn't know. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I feel like a lot of people have the fake ones, though. <laughs> They're like, the real ones have the little silver cube at on the very bottom. bottom. The I'm very like, bottom, dude. What? <laughs> There's just like a little triangle and <laughs> shit. <laughs> Why is this the face of a guy? <laughs> You've been tricked. <laughs>
<laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. So I just remember, I just been feeling like, no, don't take that toy. But I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say the heart of the cards after, after <laughs> the heart of the cards. And I'd be like, I, I would say like, you are now banished to the shadow realm. <laughs> yeah. People had the little, the, 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 the little deck. <laughs> <laughs> All the shit right here. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I remember I played some old time. I had the regular cards, so you put up, okay, hold up, I just bought this. I'm like, man, you fucking gay as fuck, Dude, man. Oh my god, I used to fucking love Yu-Gi-Oh! so much. It used to be cool, man. And then his, his nemesis, Kaiba. Kaiba. <laughs> Mokuba. Kaiba's the Kaiba. brother Mokuba. <laughs> Kaiba. Kaiba. <laughs> Mokuba. And then Pegasus. Pegasus is cool. Uh, like dude. the one eye food. Like oh, he box. had the, the Yu Gi Oh's favorite was the Dark Magician. Yeah, dude. The Dark Magician. What uh, a classic show, oh, man. Oh, and then the, 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 the Winged Dragon of Raw. Yeah. The, the three god ones. Yeah. Oh my God! What a good, good. What game. a good time, man. Good That's game. what we were doing when you were younger. Not doing drugs. We were fucking playing. <laughs> you were playing fucking Yu Gi Oh, dude. Yeah, porn and shit. Yeah. Uh, when would you get into porn? Seventh grade. <laughs> oh, you're gross. Dude. I remember the, the the winter break of seventh grade. That's my funny childhood memory. <laughs> okay. Next <laughs> question. I remember one time I jerked off and I came for so long. Dude. <laughs> what the fuck? When? Oh. A couple of days ago. <laughs> It was when I first started jerking off. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> it was when I first started jerking off. And then I remember I just came and I was just. <laughs> Passed out. <laughs> so I just couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, oh, so I've never felt that before. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, expect- ever, and that's I'm, ex- yeah. I'm expecting it to, to be done. I'm still fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're gross. Oh, okay. <laughs> so stupid. It's reality, okay. baby. Oh, I like this one. Tell me. Wait, did we answer the if you can have any walk up song whenever you show up? Yes, oh, yeah, we yes, answered it. that. So he uh, 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 he asked another one. Um, Schmack City Josh says, yes. uh, You go on a first date, but you have to give a warning about yourself. <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you go first. I have as well. <laughs> That's it. That's not bad. No, no, no. I would probably say, uh, I get jealous. <laughs> Fucking creepy. Yeah, yeah. I get jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. I have a DUI. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're bad. I am bad. I, am, <laughs> I shouldn't be drinking. I started pounding. <laughs> What'd you go? Oh, yeah, I've been sober five years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would probably say uh, I'd probably say uh, Robin uh, Bunny <laughs> Yeah yeah I'm broke <laughs> No I'd probably say like uh, dude, I don't even know what I, what, what do you think I, I would say I went out with the girl one time And there was a girl from the gym And then she was like Older than me right And then she took me out We went to like This Egyptian restaurant And at the very end I was like Dude I don't think I have any money To pay for this soon And then she was like Oh okay And then she paid for, She paid for me She paid me She, she yeah, she paid for me. You know what's crazy? All <laughs> no, I don't want to say all dates, but I'm gonna say like sixty percent, which is crazy. Sixty percent of all the first dates I've ever been on, yeah, the girl paid. Really? Yeah, and it's it. They were always like so adamant about paying. Really? Yeah, I remember like uh, we would go this one girl. We went to the movies and we went to the kiosk to buy the tickets, and. Uh, she was just like, I'll pay. And I was like, no, no, I got it. She was like, I'm going to pay. And I yeah. was like, I got it. I got it. And she she literally, she, she went like, uh, but she's like, they don't even sell popcorn here. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, they do. It's right there. And when I look back, she she had stuck oh, her card in. sneaky. And I remember being like, I like that. That's hot. Like, yeah, that is hot. That, that is hot. hot. Yeah. And uh, which is crazy because like all these guys are like, oh, girls want, want you to fucking pay and shit like that. I'm like, <laughs> I've never encountered that. I've never yeah, encountered a girl, girl that was it. like, that was just like, oh, you have to pay for my shit or else I'm not going to fuck with you. Dude, I, dude these, these are the guys that just like maybe are in the club scene and they just fucking, the, their whole perception of women is based around people they find at the club or at these fucking, uh, basically at the club where they just see like all these these girls that want to fucking meet guys and the guys are hot, they have money, have nice cars and if you don't have anything or maybe they're around OnlyFan models, they have such a weird perception of women. Or it's yeah, or they, distorted. they listen to like what social media says. Yeah, I mean, dude. It's so stupid. It's stupid. It's, it's ridiculous. Because real, real women, real girl, real life women and girls are not like that. Yeah, they're like, you know, if a woman sees you cry, then she doesn't respect you anymore. You're, you're not masculine and you can't provide for her. So no. she'll look for another man. That's like, stupid. What's wrong with you? The only thing that I, 
I think has some validity to it is if a woman sees you get beat up. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's like, different. She'll yeah. like. She'll be like, man, this guy's a bitch. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, oh, he can't protect me. That's why you don't fight. That's why you don't get in the, don't get in the fights and your, your woman would never have that. F- yeah. Dude, get to I, see that. Yeah. What if you're a fighter though? Oh no, I think that's different. That's you're different, like yeah. the you're like the you're like, like, what if you're Francis Ngannou and, yeah. you have, and then you go and get destroyed by yeah. Anthony Joshua? No, no, that's different. That's like there. That's like the point zero 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 one of percent of men, the, like the, the upper uh, echelon of men. There was this, this, uh, this, I think she was a fighter too. This fighter that went on Joe Rogan. There was a woman, and so she said that she felt she started cringing uh, when she saw her man get beat up in a fight. And then, wait, because she's also a warrior herself. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, she's, and she was like, oh, when he was like, oh, like this. Like, uh, she was complaining how like he looked like a bitch basically when he was getting his ass whooped. Yeah, which is, I mean, I guess because she's she's a fighter too. She's a fighter as well. Yeah, but she must know that you know some days. She, you're yeah, there. there's she. There's probably some fights where she's like that too. What's she talking about? She's some some woman, man. They're, they're out of control. They're nuts. Yeah, but not the yeah. But. Majority, majority, everyone's chill. Yeah, they're all beautiful. Uh, but what was even the question? Uh, oh, what would be a warning? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we said good ones. Yeah, we the said DUI, I have asthma. Yeah, yeah, I get jealous. <laughs> yeah, I get jealous. I I, I got to leave soon. Oh, wait, yeah, I got, you got to leave soon? I have to leave soon. <laughs> Same guy, Shrek City Josh, ask, uh, do you guys plan on having merch at some point? Yeah, we answer that. So yes. like, yeah, eventually we will. Yes. This year, yes. obviously. Um, and then, uh, oh, he asked another one. Shrek City Josh asks, did you guys know your guys' work does an impact on the primos? If so, how do you guys feel about it? Hmm. Well, we didn't know it has an impact. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. No it, one's ever told us it's made an impact. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't. I think people enjoy the show, but yeah. I don't know if it's had like an impact yet, yeah. especially in the space. I feel like in this comedy space, podcast space, we get no love. Yeah, compared to other, like, quote-unquote Latino podcasts. Yeah. Like, even with Isimo, we got no love. Yeah. Um, from just, the, like, the, the like there's these other companies that, uh, that like, support other podcasts. And and then uh, I'm happy that any Latino, any uh, podcasters that we know around this area are getting support. Sometimes I'm like, hey, man, what about us? We, we do good things. We do, yeah. We're, we're, we're capable feel, of doing good, good things. Yeah, I don't, I think, like, we don't. We don't get no love. I feel like we don't know. People don't tell us that. Yeah. And if if that's the case, I, I would love for you guys to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you mean it. Only if you mean, Only it. If you mean it. Yeah. Because I feel like like yeah. Only if you're telling the truth. Yeah. Because I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah. Because we've had some nice messages for, from Isimo of people being like, you know, you got me. You helped me get through this. And when I, when I used to read those, it kind of felt over, not overwhelming, but it felt like it was very shocking to know that. Something I was part of help people like that, which is what we want. But also when it's when it happens, I'm like, oh, oh, holy shit! So pretty much, I don't know if you know it's. I don't know if it's the same audience. You see more? I don't know how much. I feel like a lot of the, it's the same conversion audience. rate. Yeah, I don't yeah. know exactly the numbers on that. Yeah. yeah, I feel like a lot of it is from Isimo. I, I think some of it's newer uh, uh, fans. Um, so I don't know what impact, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I want to leave an impact, but also. I, th- I, th- I, d- I don't think about it because I feel like that's like uh, not selfish, but I just want to make sure we create great uh, something great. Yeah. And if it impacts people, then great. Yeah. Our priority is to, to have fun with it and make something that we're proud of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but, it, you know, if it makes an impact with you, well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's a bonus and that, that, that makes us feel happy. Uh, okay. Oh, let's go back to Jakku. Says, biggest regrets in life. Biggest regrets. I don't think I, let me see, do I have any? I think I have, I don't think I, I don't live like thinking that I have regrets and everything because, you know, whatever happened, like you say, shaped me to who I yeah. am today. But I think like uh, the things that I would change would be probably, <clears throat> I, I got, I got, like I used to like, uh, I, I've been fit most of my life because with sports and everything. Oh, okay, yeah. And then I, I gained weight. With especially with stand up and all that stuff, and I gained a bunch of weight, and then I got back into fitness uh, back in 2019. And I was like super fit and everything, and then once the pandemic hit, I, I just let myself go like yeah. crazy. I wish I could, I would have kept up the, you know, the 
like kind of like my fitness routines and stuff like that. But yeah. you know, but it's just, well, this is something that I can always do whatever I want. Yeah, that's true. I think that's that's with me too. Because with life decisions, I feel like. I've never even done anything like even the DUI. I don't really. I mean, I regret the DUI, but also, like, I don't beat myself up about it at all. The fact that I, the fact that, <laughs> maybe you should. Like, <laughs> like, I'll get another one tonight. Uh, <laughs> like, I, like I don't I, like. Uh, I know that I was young and I made a mistake, and I'm not gonna beat myself up for the rest of my life. Being like, oh, I should have done that to you five years ago. It's like I, I think I do a good job of like when things happen, like. Even with breakups or whatever, like I, I after a while, I just kind of move on. Yeah, and it all happens for a reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I have. I don't live. I don't live with regrets. Yeah, there's no. It's, it's not. And then I'm, I'm trying different things. I'm going for things. Like I'm taking risks. And then I feel like all failures are because you tried something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so I don't, I don't regret any failure. I don't regret anything. It, I, if I were to do something differently, yeah, there's stuff that I would do differently, but. Uh, that's impossible now. Yeah. You know I mean, so, you know, you just got to keep moving forward and we have to learn from our mistakes. Yeah, not everybody's going to accomplish everything they want, but, you know, there should still be some joy in the fact that you're trying. Yeah. You know, yeah. and the only thing you should regret is not trying. Boom. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. The only thing you should regret is not trying. Boom. Did you hear what I said? Shut <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker. Hey, look, I'm listening to everything. <laughs> oh, man. That's a great question. Back, Let's go back to Jacku. We appreciate you, baby. Then there's lies coming up for here, dude. <sighs> yeah. Those packs right there. Uh, Slayer underscore Sam15 asks, any plans on having a live episode slash hangout in the near future? Yeah, we said that. Yeah, we, we want to. We want to in a couple, maybe in a couple months, uh, especially maybe summer. Most definitely fall, yeah. And winter, yeah, yeah. We, we want to get to hang out. We're with just you guys building this up, yeah. We're building, building the fan base of the community up a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay, this is for you. Rod's Records underscore asks, um, "What was your experience like growing up a Jehovah's Witness?" I too grew up one growing up. I guess he was one when he was growing up as well. Hmm, my experience. See, when I when I was going through it, I didn't think it was too bad because it was everything that I knew. In the moment, huh? In the moment, yeah. I uh, I believed in Jehovah. I believed in the, what I was taught. I, I loved going to church. I love. Uh, I didn't love preaching because I, I didn't like going outside and walking around, but I thought I was doing the thing that I was meant to be doing, but that was only because I was brought into it. In my earliest memory, I was Jehovah's Witness. You know, I was born into it. So when I was 16... Even like the not doing the birthdays, not doing the holidays, not doing anything, that didn't bother me because I thought it was for a greater good. Yeah, I feel like it would have bothered you if you if you lived a regular life and yeah. then when you were like ten, they were like, "Oh, yeah. no more." But then it, it, it would have been like, "Oh, I tasted that already." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it did start to bother me when I as I was becoming a teenager and and going forward because uh, you know you're fourteen, fifteen, you started to kind of think about who you are as a person. Uh, you're starting to find your identity, and then you're kind of like, okay, all my friends are going to birth- do their birthdays at their house, and like, what's so bad about that? They look happy, like their their parents are buying them things, and they're all like one big happy family, and their friends are over. Well, why can't I do that? Then the Christmas thing, it's like, what's so bad about this? Like fucking, uh, everybody looks happy. Everybody's like saying thank you, I love you, yada yada. yada. What's wrong with this? I started questioning everything, and that's when I kind of realized, like, oh man, I feel like I've been cheated of. Some some things have been taken away from me with, and I wasn't even I was it was like without my consent almost. You know what I mean? Like I just felt like something like part of my childhood, which wasn't that big. I just had a great family, and you know, you know, I had a fucking roof over my head, whatever. But I felt like socially, like with friends, a part of that was taken from me. And as I got older, as I was leaving the church, I kind of realized how like hypocritical a lot of those people are. They preach something and then they act a certain way and then they'll talk down on you for just even questioning them and then they'll they'll tell other people in the religion that you're a bad kid that they shouldn't be uh, friends with you. They're very cultish. Yeah, and I lost a lot of friends when I was like 16, 17, and then they would they would tell me like, oh, I can't because I'm not allowed to talk to you. So I lost a lot of friends, and then it made me very angry towards the church, the religion, towards the elders, because I was like, why are you trying to hurt me? I'm fucking 16, 17. You're a kid. Yeah, I'm a kid. You guys are 45 telling your, your, your kids that are my age, that are my best friends for like my whole life, that I'm, that I'm not allowed to talk to me. So at leaving that was very hurtful, because uh, I felt like I got my, some part of my childhood taken away, and then I lost all my friends. And the thing is, like, 
tried to communicate that, communicate that to my mom. She just, she was like, then why are you leaving? She, just, she, didn't, she didn't see what I was coming from. It was always about like, you're doing the wrong thing anyway. You're leaving the church. Like you should be with us, with Jehovah. So I feel like no one really listened to me or understood me for a long time. So it was, it was kind of hurtful, but I'm glad I'm not in that church. <laughs> yeah, you felt mature shit a long time. Yeah, yeah. See yeah. so you, baby. <laughs> and then you were like, "Oh, you talk like this," and I was like, "Yes, yes." You know me. You know me. Yeah. But uh, I don't know if you're still in the church or if you're not in the church. Did he say he was out of it or he grew up? It? He said he grew up one as well. So maybe. Well, if you're not it. in the church, I think uh, I think you understand maybe something yeah. or maybe you have Rod's a some records situation. Underscore. Yeah, um, I think people of religion believe what you want. But don't force people to be in it, especially like with, especially when you have kids. I feel like maybe when they're older, you should let them think, give them the option. Yeah, it's like what we talked about uh, uh, the, the serious actors. Yeah, it's just like, bro, if you have to be serious to 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 do good, that doesn't mean everyone else has to be fucking serious. Yeah, so like yeah. do it on your own time. Dog. Yeah, read the room. Yeah. Um, that's a great question. Thank you for yeah, asking. Good that. Question. Very great, good. great response. Great answer. Very emotional response. I just start crying. <laughs> you should. <laughs> uh, thank you, Rod's Records underscore. Uh, let us know if you're still Jehovah's Witness in the comments. Yeah, comment down. The, oh, damn. Comment down below if you're still Jehovah's Witness. If not, <laughs> if you are, you know, you're always welcome. You're welcome here. Uh, Schmack City Josh, yet again. Not a question, but I would love to meet you guys in person one day. Oh, Pray emojis. Baby, Los Angeles, where are you from? Comment down below where you're from. Maybe if you're uh, you know, from Texas, one of those big cities, we'll pull up while we're trying to do other things. Or maybe whenever you're in hit us up. Yeah, dude, we love meeting our Soul Primos dog. It, it, like, uh, we just love it so much. Listen, and, uh, yeah. I'll say this. Whoever is the first, whoever wants to hang out with us, I'm taking you to a spot in Mon- Monrovia. It's called Copper Still. Oh, yes, yeah. dude. Yes. Now it's $6. A little bit bummed. It used to be $5 appetizers, but they have $6 appetizers and the well drinks are like six, five bucks. And then uh, there's a bar across the street that's even even cheaper. So, But the appetizers from Copper Still Grill are $6. They have wings. They have tater tots. They have corn dogs. They have fucking fries. They have so much good shit for $6. Uh, Whoever wants to do that, I'm down. If you're, when you're never you're in town, we'll pull up and I'll take it to Coppers. A beautiful yeah. spot. Hell yeah, I, I'll go too. Yeah, Melvin was there. Yeah. That was like the only time we hung out. Yeah. I I still owe you for what? paying for that dinner. Oh no, it was it was a, uh, it was on the it was so pretty much LLC. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, great. We would love to meet you, Josh. Um, great question. Slayer underscore Sam fifteen says, where did Joe learn such talent on the guitar slash piano? Uh, see, I don't think, dude, I'm telling you the truth. I fucking suck. If anyone that's actually good at guitar saw me, they'd be like, this guy's trash, right? I'm the greatest average guitar player. Gave me four chords and my wrist would do its thing, dude. But, you know, when I was younger, you know, my, see, I'm, I have an older brother. And the coolest thing for a younger brother is whatever his older brother does. So he started skating. I got into skating. He started playing the guitar. I started playing the guitar. And then he would always leave things. He would be like, I don't want to skate more. It's kind of like, I don't want to play guitar. Or he just would not make time for it. But for me, all of that, um, for me, it always stuck with me. I was always like, that's fucking cool, playing guitar. I would learn chords. And and I learned that when I was younger. And then, you know, I think well, what I said, once you learn those 12 basic chords, kind of like riding a bike, they'll always be there. Um, it's kind of like skateboarding. I mean, it has to do more with your body. So, but you got to warm up a little bit. But I'll, I'll always know how to ollie, how to kick flip, how to heel flip, yada, yada, yada. Um, but that's when I was younger, baby, doing what my brother was doing. He was the coolest dude. He was the coolest dude. What about piano? Piano. Oh, uh, just... Uh, oh, I was in band. And then the, I was in band in uh, middle school. And they had the, I, was on, I was on the xylophone and the bells. And that's basically a piano. So I would learn a song on the xylophone. And I would just take it to the piano. So, you know, Mad World. Bum, 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 bum. And I'll learn that on the piano. And then I would just go on YouTube and how to play these songs. And then I would just uh, entertain myself doing that. And I would show all, uh, uh, my classmates. And I'm like, hey, look what I learned. All around the uh, familiar faces. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck up, idiot. <laughs> but basically that, dude. Yeah, just... That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you're super talented. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. And it hurts. <laughs> yeah, it hurts so on. much, dude. Uh, Polaroid Fox with two X's asks, 
Would you ever consider acting on a serious tone or comedic? Question mark. Uh, kind of like a dark comedy. I would love to do it like a dark comedy. Something like Nice Guys is a perfect oh, example. Oh yes, dude. I feel like if we can, bro. I want to make a movie with with Soul Primo. Yeah. It's like kind of like Nice Guys. Yeah, I would never want to do something straight up comedy. Like uh, I don't even know there's any even there's like no comedy movies right that. Not recently. Yeah. There used to be like you know like old school. Like like Judd Apatow. Judd Apatow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to do what Will, Will Ferrell was doing. You know, Talladega Nights was fucking dope. Like Step Brothers. For me, it, I just don't want to act like a clown, like a silly fucking goose. Yeah. yeah. I just want to be like like saying stupid shit or being involved in a dark situation, but making light of it. Something the like Nice Guys. Nice is perfect, Guys is a perfect, perfect example for me. Perfect, yeah. yeah. I mean, you uh, you would be the Ryan Gosling. I'd be the Russell Crowe. Yeah, you, yeah, we'd fight all the time. Yeah, we, we, yeah dude. And then we obviously save save everybody. We the save the city. Yeah. Save the city. We save know? Los Angeles. Yeah. We save Los Angeles. We save. Yeah, basically, right now we're saving Los Angeles. We're trying to save BP. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, oh, Gil underscore T eight one seven says, "Will Melvin's Jack in the Box commercial ever get released?" Oh yeah, I saw that. They never I got back to me. Fuck! Imagine if you if it, if it it's televised. been airing, dude. No, dude. If, if they you could sue them if it's yeah, been airing. Yeah, I need that. Fucking but imagine money. if it aired the money you would get, dude. Ten thousand dollars. Talk. I have a friend that does commercial work, and bro, three maybe four commercials pays all their bills for like a year. Yeah, they make some good money for especially for airs. But I got a I got a day fee though, so they paid me that day. Yeah. So maybe I don't know. We can only. Wish. I don't know. They never got back to me. Jack and the Box. I would love to do a uh, obviously Chipotle, maybe like a McDonald's. Jack and the Box is the greatest drunk meal ever. But I don't go anymore, man. I don't go. I gotta wash my body. But damn, Jack and the Box got like the fucking Jack spicy chicken. But curl, let's get some after this. Curly I just, fries. I just went there the other day. Oh my god, it's gross. Yeah. It's good. I have some self respect. It's good. <laughs> it's we're, good. We're, on this, it's good. we're on this weight loss journey. It's good, man. It's good. It's good. Cheap, quick, dude. Quick yeah, for especially. Seven. Oh, dude, I want. I'm feeding for one right now, dog. <laughs> crazy, man. You're crazy. All right. Um, these are the... Uh, the. Oh, let's do it. Yeah? Say the best for last, huh? Uh, we so, all right. We can say that for last. So we'll, I'll, I'll save them. Okay. Cisco Mike says, when we coming on? Dude. Whenever. Sis, for, let's Cisco. just hang out. Like, we don't want... <laughs> Obviously, we want to pod with you guys, but we just want to hang out with you guys, bro. Yeah, we fucking genuinely love hanging out with you guys, Cisco Mike. Every time we've been on your show, it's been a blast. Bro, I, I, went to, a blast. I went to Cisco's house for like a poker night. I didn't play, but it was such a good time, man. Yeah. I've been teaching myself how to play poker. Like, I want to play it now. Yeah, Cisco Mike invited us over to kick it, and we we want you on the show. I think there's a there's a there there was a question about guests. I think maybe I want to clear that up right now. Okay. There was a question. Someone asked about like, a guest or how to be on the show. or, or yeah, yeah. find that. The thing about guests right now, my friends, if we want to have guests eventually, obviously, but the only, the only holdup is like, you know, the schedule when we shoot is always kind of different because uh, Melvin lives far away and then uh, I travel. So sometimes we can't, meet, we can't meet on the same day twice sometimes. Yeah. It's always like a Monday, I mean, on a Saturday or yada, yada, yada. So Davey, yeah, Davey the Dawn underscore asks, what's your process of inviting someone on the show? Yeah, so it's, it's kind of difficult. So we did one... We did one with Martin, yeah, and and then that was cool, but it was also kind of pain in the ass. We had to we had to find a spot, and luckily my friend Mark had a spot. But then it was like uh, we kind of went there late, so there was a show like an hour. Oh yeah, after a comedy we, show right after. Yeah, yeah, and then like we kind of bled into that time where people were trying to set up, so we kind of fell behind. And it was the whole situation was like stressful. We having like a. We would, yeah, it was just. It was we just want to be more solidified. We ha- we wanted like a, a stronger foundation, um, not not quality wise, but like physical wise, like the equipment, <laughs> yeah. the setting, the yeah. lights. But Cisco and Mike, you know, we would love to have you on the show. We can yeah. go use like uh, your office, you know, yeah. or some shit, you use, know. Yeah, use your field. That would yeah. be beautiful, and then we can kick it afterwards. We can get some food, some pizza. I would love to. Maybe Mike, we can go to your house. We can shoot at your house. That'd be fucking cool. I know you got a house. Uh, we would love to hang out and just drink. Don't we love hanging out with you guys? Yeah. Yeah. So Cisco, and Mike, hit us up, baby. Hell yeah, dude. I'll be. I'll be. He asks. Cheesecake or brownies? Brownies, baby. Brownies, baby. Brownies, baby. Off, hey, dude. Brownies, yeah. chocolate chip brownies, especially, dude. dog. Oh man, I look, I like cheesecake. Yeah, but I love brownies. Brownies That's are my fucking shit, dog. Brownies are incredible, oh, especially with some milk, dude. 
Ooh, especially like the crust, the, like the, 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 oh, it's just good. Everything's good. We're so soft. You yeah, know what I like also soft. too? Pan, dul- pan dulce. Oh, I oh, love pan dulce. God, I love dude. pan dulce. Yeah, dog. Oh, I used to eat that shit all the time. Where do, you, where, do, where do you, how do you feel about donuts? Where's donuts on your scale? Donuts, I, I like them when uh, either really early in the morning or really late at night. I know, it's either like, if, if you want to. if you eat a donut in the middle of the day, you're like. I know your stomach gets it starts hurting, it's, you get bloated. It's also weird to get donuts in the middle of the day. I feel like you wake up, get some coffee, boom, yeah. boom, donuts, oh, late night snack. Yeah, when you're donut. hungry, snackish, and you just pick one. Really yes, snackish. but to do it in the middle of the day is a little strange. But brown in that situation, brownies, man, brownies for sure. All right, dog. All right, we're we're, we're getting to the nitty gritty. What's up? Uh, Jeff Danny Boy asks, what y'all shoe sizes? Ooh, I'm a 12 or 11 and a half, depending on what kind of shoe. And women's? <laughs> that's, that's still fucking big regardless, dog. <laughs> what do you mean depending? 11 and a half well, or 12? Because these are like 13, right? And uh-huh. they fit tight. And then I got some other shoes that are Pumas. They're 12 and a half and they're tight. And then I got some other shoes that are 11 and they're fucking big. So it just depends. On the shoe? Yes, yeah. depends on the shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yes, yes. What the yes. fuck was that? Because you, 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 you're talking down to me like I'm fucking lying Shut on my shoe up. size. I'm talking to you like a child? No, Shut the fuck no, up. No, you think I'm lying on my shoe size? No, I'm just, I just, you know, sometimes when people ask, most of the time they just have one number. Well, I'm different. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, I'm 12 or 13. But 12 my, or 13. My hands are really small. <laughs> Why'd you even bring that up? Because I, I feel like shoe size always goes yeah. with dick size and shit. Yeah. I'm a size 15. Are you really size 15? Yeah, size 15. Why oh, those H and M shoes right here? <laughs> okay, no, they're Adidas. They're Adidas. Are they real? Yes, they're real. <laughs> Hit your inhaler. Yeah, but shut up. I, I'm size 15. Um, and uh, it's difficult to find shoes for me, dude. Yeah. It's yeah. difficult, yeah. It's difficult being this large. Yeah, it sucks, man. It fucking sucks because, like, obviously in real life, it's great. It's, like, the best thing ever. But when it comes to finding clothes and shoes, like, some of, like, the coolest clothes that I love and I want to wear, they never have them in my size. Yeah. All the fucking clothes and shoes that are my size, they're all whack. They're all plain. Yeah. They're all fucking boring. A Hawaiian, big old Hawaiian yeah, shirt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or like a big gray shirt. No, fuck that shit, dog. I want fucking patterns. You know what I mean? I want, you know, button-ups. I want, I want, I want cool shoes. I want yeah. cool Jordans and shit yeah. like that. But, or cool, you know, beautiful dress shoes. But I, I make it work. Yeah. I find cool shit. I think I have a good sense of style, but it's just difficult. And I always have to get, I always have to be ready to be disappointed. Yeah. If I find something cool and I ask for if they have my size and they say no, I'm always ready for it. I'm always ready for it. I even feel like that was like, uh, like Forever, I like, I used to love shopping for Forever 21 H&M. Those are like the go-tos for like some cheap stuff. But then like sometimes you go and like they're extra large 2X, it's still so small, tight. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is all for like small, scrawny little men. It's not a problem for scrawny, but I'm just saying, like, what about these other bigger dudes that got some meat on them? Yeah, some size yeah, yeah, on them? yeah. And it sucks because, like, sometimes I find shirts that fit me really good, yeah. but they're really short. Yeah. Or sometimes I, vice versa, and it's just like, bro, oh my gosh, and like, it, it, you know what I realized that there's a difference between two XL and XXL. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's a large. Difference. So I forget the difference, but one is is width. XL to double XL, but then it's not in length. Yeah. And then the other one is just, everything's just bigger. Yeah. So sometimes I get confused and I get the wrong one and it fits me fine, but it's just so short. It's like a crop top. Yeah. It's just annoying, bro. It's annoying. Hey, but, but it's, it's still like, six five, baby. Yeah. That's the only downfall of being six five, <laughs> yeah. you know, 300 pounds. Like 300 pounds. Yeah, I'm like 290, 300. I'm getting, I fluctuate. I'm getting up there too, man. We got to lose weight, baby. We got to fucking check out. We got to. We gotta lose weight, dog. Yeah, we will. We, we will. want. We want to live. I want to live long. Yeah. I want to live till I'm 90, 80, 70, and then uh, I, I can't be fucking fat, having diabetes, having a stroke. Yeah, I want to live long too. I want to live to like 30, 40. That's come. <laughs> oh, are you okay, Melvin? <laughs> Rock on. Yeah. So he size he size 11, 12, or thirteen, depending on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm size fifteen. And, yeah, and waist. Yeah, I'm size fifteen. Uh, oh, Je- anyways, yeah, yeah. Jeff Danny Boy again asks, "How tall is Melvin really? Didn't I meet you in real life? Bro? <laughs> yeah, you met you. Why is he bullshitting, dog? Yeah, uh, how tall am I really? You're fucking I'm six five two. Nine. <laughs> I'm five nine. Oh, oh wait, look. Oh shit, my face is. Look at this. Look at the lights. Oh, oh shit. shit. That's how you know it's been a long up. 
you don't know what's, what's oh, this is a good line for like a song or some shit like i'm looking outside the window like i'm hurt by somebody what's a good song never made it as a wise man i couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing try living like a blind man a sick sense, a sense of feeling in this season. You remind me of what I really am. This is how you remind me of what I really am. It's not like you to say sorry. I was waiting on a different story. It's time I'm mistaken. For So, yeah, so, that's all, that's all my is this distracting? Should I put that in the blinds a little bit? Maybe. Yeah, I'm, okay, you, you, you answer that. <laughs> well, how tall, how tall? I mean, I'm 6'5". The doctor says I'm 6'5". Yeah, but what are you really? When I measure... Oh, like my soul? Yeah, I'm in real, my physical body is 6'5". Soul? My soul is 10 feet tall, Dude, baby. You got, what? You got a soul, but are you a soldier? No, I'm not. I'm not a soldier. I'm just a soul. I'm a soul primo. You're so, you're so, oh, this looks kind of boring, I'm so primo, so primo, so primo. You have a lisp? I got soul, but I'm not soldier. <laughs> okay, uh, all right, okay, for sure. Uh, Liz, Liz the MZ. Yes. Liz the MZ says, what system slash program slash equipment did y'all use for the last musical episode? So it's like a Moana. Yes. What's it called? It's a it's a audio interface. It's called a, I actually don't remember what it's called. This is Melvin's piece of equipment that came through. Came clutch. Yeah, it's super cool and like it, it, it like gives you auto tune. Yeah. And uh, and then it also gives you it can make your pitch higher or lower. Yeah, and uh, you plug it in through USB yeah. on your computer. Yes. And uh, it connects to your mics. It can hold two mics at a time. Yeah. Uh, and it was it was cool. Yeah. What did you think? It was great. What else is there? What else in that question? What other gear that she want? That was the only equipment. And then the mics were the Shure SM7Bs. Yeah, SM7Bs. And then the cameras were the Black Magics and shit. Um, but you don't need that. Obviously, you need just fucking. The most important thing in that is just have the audio interface to fuck around and have a good time. Yeah. See if I could find the name for you guys because. Uh, I, people, people keep asking us that. Hey, it was a good episode. You came through in that, man. Oh, I can't you really it. fucking came through in that shit. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you hate when I talk to you like that, dude. Yeah, dude. Why? Why? Because it creeps, it creeps me up. Listen, Melvin's on his phone. He's researching. But guys, look. Listen, man, we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. You guys had so many fucking questions for us. You still got some. You make us feel loved. You make us feel like we, like someone cares about us, man. Uh, a Moano audio interface. Ah. 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 You guys do make us feel loved, man. Yeah, if it wasn't for you, I'd fucking like, dude, I don't think I'd even be alive. Next question. Okay, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> all right. It's still on my face. Ask oh, this question. Daniel underscore Sands 50 says, favorite memory with each other? And then two heart emojis. I think we already talked about it, though. Is that the, uh, I think maybe like our, when when we took a road trip to Bakersfield, that was fun. Oh, when we when we when we took a trip to Washington D.C. too. Oh, that was that was that was really cool. Okay, so yeah, so <laughs> what, what was the end of a podcast? Isimo was also the start of a beautiful friendship between me and Melvin. Well, we were friends before. Oh, you were friends before. <laughs> <laughs> we were friends before, but like yeah. that trip was also very fun because uh, yeah. listen, something happened. But let's just say me and Melvin spent a lot of time just me and him. And yeah, that trip, right? it was cool, and we would, we would go out to eat, enjoy, just enjoy the city, of Virginia. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, me and you, we went out to brunch or lunch. Yes, sometime. dude. Yeah, we came, we ate so much, we came back to the hotel, and just fell asleep. Yeah, we went to a bar and one night. Oh yeah, yeah the sports to, bar. Yeah, the sports yeah. bar. Dude, I fucking love sports bar because you know the food's gonna be cheap. And then uh, the drinks are going to be cheap, too. And food's going to be good, too. Food's going to be fucking good, too. The wings yeah. I had were fucking good. Dude. And uh, you met my second family yeah, in, uh, in, in D.C. And, like, it was it was really fun, man. It was a yeah. really cool time. 
And then, uh, yeah, got to see you probably, guys. Probably, yeah, that's probably my favorite. Yeah, got to see you guys do stand up. You fucking killed it, dude. It was fucking overall. It was a beautiful time. I love traveling, man. When it's just for fun, and yeah. then like, it's just a good time, man. Yeah. Well, so we, that's your same answer. We, like, is the same answer for us? Oh, or do you have another one? Another favorite memory? I think every time we spend time together. Oh, shut the fuck. <laughs> that's such a cop out. <laughs> okay, a favorite memory. Okay. I see you getting more frustrated as this episode goes on. Like, just, just yeah. Energy, Melvin. Next question. Got a lot of energy, energy, energy. Got a lot of energy. Positive push. Okay. All right. No, our favorite memory, let's say, I love uh, I love uh, hanging out at Studio M a lot of the times. That was cool. uh, obviously, going to Bakersfield was fun. When we went to Denny's, that was fucking yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was this one time, oh, what the fuck? There was this one time I was at a shoot and then I was in Burbank and then, uh, I stopped and I was like, hey, dude, it was like 12. I was like, hey, bro, you, you, oh, it, yeah, I, was like, hey, yeah. I was like, you, you here? And then you were like, uh, yeah, I'm at home. I was like, dude, let's go to a bar near your spot. Yeah. And we went to a bar and we drank and we went to another bar oh. and then fucking we just played pool and we drank. It was very random, but it was a, such a good time because we started off at a sports bar too. Yeah, you, yeah, you literally called me like at like ten thirty. You're like, dude, what are you doing? I was yeah. like, I'm, I'm just at home doing nothing. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm like literally just on TikTok. Yeah, and uh, you're like, dude, let's grab a drink. And I was like, where are you at? You're like downtown. Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, like. Oh, would you be down with come to Burbank? Yeah. And then you GPS and you're like, yeah, I'll be there in 18 minutes. I was yeah. like, yeah, all right, for sure. I'll meet yeah. you at this place too. Yeah, dude, it was fucking a good ass time, dude. That was a cool time. Yeah, oh, Coppers. Coppers was a cool. Coppers. This the, the bar. Monrovia. Oh, yeah, yeah. That time was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Those are just hanging out though. I want like a special. A, the, the DC is a very special around the country. Yeah. Salton Sea is very fun. Oh, Salton Sea, yeah, probably. Salton, Salton Sea, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably probably Salton Sea, yes. Yeah. Probably Salton Sea. Yeah, Salton Sea. We went to the bar. We went, to, we, went, cool. we went on the beach. We were drinking on the beach. The we went stars. to a fucking bar. The bar there is one of the coolest bars, the most unique bars you've ever yeah. been to. You could just dine dash easy, dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you yeah, wanted yeah. to. We, we, you meet so many cool people. Yeah. There's so many interesting the way it looks. Everything. Salton Sea. Yeah, Salton Sea for sure. Yeah. And then second would probably be DC. Yeah. Right. What's for you? Okay, monsters for, for me. Yeah. Holy shit. Tacos dot a dot la plancha asks Joel, how does it feel to wake up every morning having to be the most handsome man in the world? Sad emoji. <laughs> Sad to, mm. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Daniel. Damn. Well, you know. I'm grateful. <laughs> grateful. Humble. Humble and defeat. No, like, humble, just grateful. I'm just happy, man. I could have You're so- beaming. Oh my yeah, God. No, You're I beaming. Just dude, I'm just happy to be here. You're blushing. No, I'm happy to be here and grateful. And then, uh, you know, what, 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 what's going to come will come. And I'm coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was very beautiful. Yeah, shout out to Tacos de la Plancha, bro. Yeah, she, thank yeah. you very much. I appreciate that. Is that a man or a woman? I think it's a it's a woman, but either either way, it's yeah, still a good couple. I'm also married. But thank you very much for yeah. the very very sweet. I don't think I've heard that in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Uh Mex underscore active underscore asks to pod or to not pod. If you got something to say, pod. <laughs> if you ain't got nothing to say, not pod. Not pod. Yeah, yeah, dude. I think uh, this is one of the hosts from uh, Shade of Brown. Oh, yeah, <laughs> what's yeah, up, yeah. boy? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Shade of Brown, Shout out to Shade of Brown. Another podcast. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Ulysses. Oh, what's Ulysses. up, baby? Ulysses. Uli, Uli Rams 91393. That's his official Instagram name. <laughs> yes. What's a big goal you guys wish to accomplish with Soul Primos? With Soul like Primos. Like said, movie, baby. Movies, fucking live shows, so merch. Like build our audience and podcast. Yeah. Maybe some short films, live events, merch, brand, movie. Make it or a, TV show. Make it a biz. Make or it a, TV show. Yeah, t- make it a biz, basically. Yeah. Make it yeah. into, we can make money, and then we can help other people, and they can make money. Bring can more help. people onto the team. <laughs> yes, dude. That's that's the goal, man. That's the goal. But it all starts off with showing up. It and uh, Right here, right now. In my little living room. Right here. Right, right now. now. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, it starts off baby steps, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, 
Yeah, we have we have we have, we have big goals, man. And we're, we're very we're looking forward for the future, looking forward to the future. And uh, but one day at a time, baby. One day at a fucking time. Okay. Just be creative. Just be creative. Just have fun. Be creative. Those things will come. All right. Yeah. Roxy Goose asks, um, "Did the Isimo breakup bring you guys closer?" Um, I think I think so. Yeah, oh, a little bit. I think we we're already really tight beforehand. Yeah. But I think the Isimo broke up. Uh, oh, it's gonna make you a little bit closer because now it's just you two. Yeah. So, yeah. so you ha- you should be closer if you're trying to build something. Yeah. 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 We yeah we were really tight before. I think now we're even tighter. I yeah. think. Uh, Especially, like, with what we've created so far, like, the 10, 11 episodes that we have so far, like, oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. It did. Um, and then Roxy Goose also asks, did you have to pay Gerardo to keep the ECMO profiles? Uh, no. No. Yeah, we, we, we got the Instagram. We we got, no, we didn't have to pay for him anything. Yeah, we didn't pay anything. So, we, we got the Instagram uh, profile, which was, uh, now it's so primos. He kept uh, the Patreon. The pa- uh, yeah, I f- he kept the YouTube. He kept, he kept the YouTube channel. Yeah. And uh, and then obviously like the Spotify and Apple Podcast yeah. ones, uh, the Patreon I don't think anyone kept. Yeah, it just it's kind of like dead now. It yeah, just, it yeah. just fizzled out and it, yeah. it just it stopped. Um, so I don't I don't think he kept it. But we, we didn't keep it either. So yeah, it's just there un- inactive. Pretty yeah, much. inactive. Yeah, yeah inactive. And yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we kind of just like split off like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And uh, that's it, babe. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, that, those are all the questions. Yeah. <laughs> this is our longest episode. How do you feel? I feel good. Hopefully people watch it. <laughs> I know, dude. Hopefully people watch it. But thank you guys so much for asking this question, man. I really appreciate we it. We answered every single question that you guys sent in. Every single one. Yeah. So uh, you guys better watch this. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Yeah. We appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for stick- for stopping by. This is just the beginning. We'll see you at the next time after the episode 20. 21. Okay, bye. Bye.